<sighs> What's new, man? Nothing. Eight I weeks out. I saw I saw the blessing was talking some shit talking some shit to you. <laughs> what is fucking uh wait picture? Somebody said so yeah, I saw I saw I think buys and tries posted uh oh, it, it, it's yawn. I'm taking a nap on that picture. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <What>? white ass obliques <clears throat> he does have a wider stomach i will give you that yeah he, he thinks his waist is it's it's just funny because he thinks his waist is so tiny it's like you got wide obliques bro like <laughs> yeah i mean he's got a nice stomach he's got stacked abs but there it's not it's not a tiny waist by any means that's what well, that's, that's that just makes it more funnier for me because he thinks his waist is so <laughs> beautiful and symmetrical and work of art it fits on his body well, but your waist looks good too. I mean, that's what I, I'm saying. I wouldn't say that his waist is like dramatic, oh. dramatically smaller than yours or anything. Uh, Ian, no. what do you think? Ian, what do you think? What the blessings waist? His blessings waist. No, he's got wide oblique. He, he doesn't have a small waist or anything, though. No. Yeah, it's no. like a little. It's a little bit wider. Like it's not. Yeah. It's not a narrow waist. It's, it's no. It's no bigger than Nick's for sure. Or no smaller than Nick's, really. No. Yeah, it looks similar. Yeah, I would say yeah. it's. I would say it's similar. I think Nick. You have a longer torso, so your yes. waist your waist looks longer, whereas his yeah. is more his is more compact. But I think in width terms, it's very similar. But since you've been hitting your front double crunch down like that, it looks a it lot looks better. better, right? Yeah, it looks really a lot better. better. Yeah, yeah. It shortens it up. It makes it look smaller for sure. It's a lot better. I do have a bone to pick with you though. With me? With Nick? Yeah, yeah, with Nick. What did I do? What? Where's your beard? You're supposed to be growing out your beard. Bro, listen, I got a haircut today. <laughs> And he, he shaped it up, and I was like, mm, fuck, I can't do it, man. Shape Why? It, up. it looked good. I didn't, like it. I didn't like it. You can't do it, can you? I can't do it. Just do I, it for – what, do you got seven weeks to go, man? I tried. It just I look retarded. I just don't look good. I, I can't not have a beard. I feel so weird without it. I know. I trimmed mine by accident once, and I fucked it up, and I went too short. And then I was like, wow, I'm ugly as fuck. I need when my beard. When was the last time you were clean shaven? <laughs> Oh fuck! I think I had a goatee like a couple months ago. That was shit, and uh, I don't think I've like fully shaved my whole face in like since like the last time I yeah. since the last time I competed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, fucking Nick, you got to do it, man. I got to see what it looks like. Let the fans be the judge. How about that? If it gets ugly, the fans will let you know. Well, I don't want it to get to that point. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like shit. You just shave it. That's the great thing about Harry. Yeah, it's just, just get rid of it. If it's fucked, if like a whole bunch of big people start telling you it's nasty, you just shave it off. Seven weeks. It's like he's, seven he's, weeks. He's not sold. I'm not sold. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. We want to see. We want to see. The people want to see in the comment section, in the comment section, or on Nick's uh, next pitch posts. Yeah, troll it with that. Troll it. No, don't tro don't troll it. But. <laughs> Let them know. Let them know if you want to see the, the playoff beard. <clears throat> if you can get two hundred comments that say "grow the beard," what I'll do, do it. What do you think? Team Giant Pizza Games. Did, are those yours? Did you make those? No, it's uh, Jamie Johal sent it to me. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. So he's he's my brother in uh, in fast in fast food eating. So we're both pizza fucks. That's go. really cool. Though. I got your ass man shirt. Thank you very much. Oh, you got it. Awesome. I got, I got it right. So I put. You then, you know what? I got a bone to pick with you, mother. No, mother. wait a minute. Wait before you give me shit. Let me explain. Let me. So I got your the two shirts, right? And I put them. I took them out of the bag and I put them on my dining room table. Uh huh. And then my cat. I fucked off to the gym. My cat jumps on the table and lays on them. They always do that. Yeah, and I come home and they're covered in fucking cat hair. Yeah. Uh, so I had to throw them in the wash, and now they're all mixed in with my clothes. So I got to find them. I got to find them so I can. If it fits, it sits, bro. That's the rule of cats. <laughs> really? Is that what it is? I, dude, it, I'm so... It, it sits. Yeah. Dude, I'm so fucking annoyed with my cat. It sits on all my... If I leave my clothes out, right anything, on my... Yeah. Anything like that. That's why it's called. If it fits, it sits. If it can fit on it, it'll sit yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. You got a cat, right, Ian? Yeah, I had two. One died like six months ago, and then I have another one, yeah. How long did you have the cat that died? She was 13, 12, 13. I know, but did you have it like since it was a kitten? Yeah, it was mine since a kitten, yeah. Did Both it fuck, of, did it the other fuck one's you? like 11 what did it fuck you up a bit yeah it was kind of it was kind of sad i mean she like she got sick like really quickly like she was the fucking nicest happiest like most friendly cat like almost like dog like um you know got along really well with my dogs and then it was just like really sudden like i noticed like within a week she was like getting really skinny like fucking mm -hmm. crazy skinny 
Um, and then it progressed like so fast within a week that she, man, she must have weighed like by the end, I would say like if she weighed a pound and a half to two pounds, Wow, she was that thin, you know? And it was like, she was so weak that she couldn't stand on like wood floors and stuff. Cause her legs would just slide out. Yeah. Uh, and then I got her looked at and she had some big tumor and shit like, for a 13 year old cat. I'm not going to try and get her like operate on. So we just yeah. put her down. Yeah, yeah. Cause I got a, we rescued a cat. I rescued a cat. <laughs> I rescued a cat like four years ago. It was like two weeks old when I rescued it. So I like yeah. bottle fed it and the whole yeah, bit. I, and uh it's like a dog same thing it like runs to the door when i come home and shit but uh it's fat as fuck really yeah we don't overfeed it man i have like some are just like yeah it, it has like just it's like half a scoop of food twice a day that's just it get like a eighth of a tab of t3 and just like sprinkle it in the you know <laughs> yeah I hope you're, are you joking <laughs> <laughs> yeah my, my other cat's like 11 ish yeah, she'd be 11, uh, and she's just a Siamese, like a seal point Siamese. Yeah, I worry about my cat because it's like, I think he's four or five now, and he's fat as fuck. I'm like... Just get, just... get some good, like, diet food, you know? You think it'll make a difference? Yeah, if you get, like, uh, like some Hills Science Diet, fucking yeah, yeah. You know, good good diet food. I yeah. think it's just because he doesn't move. I had him, I had him snipped, like... I had yeah, nut... but I mean, still, like, most cats are pretty fucking lazy, and, like, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they didn't get you too fat. yeah. I was going to build a, like a cocoon around the treadmill. Yeah. So you had to like to force them to walk on it. No, nah, don't do that. <laughs> Cattle fucking freak out and try and like dump and freak everywhere. Like, no. <laughs> Look what at this. Oh, he's in his fucking car again. Are you serious? Yeah. Yo, you're supposed to train early, guy. Dude, what's wrong with you? He's got no audio yet. Oh, my guy. He disappeared. So Nick, we did uh, we did a relationship episode of bodybuilding. Oh, oh I see. Can we do one here? <laughs> Why we, you're horrible? You've gone through. You go through girls like underwear. What are you talking about? Shh, no, I don't. <laughs> don't tell his girlfriend that. Don't tell his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, guy. Why are you in hey. your car? Why are you in your truck? I'm not in my truck. So you're wrong. You're in your BMW. <laughs> Because it's nice out. That beard is very combed out today. Look at that thing. Looks like a skunk. Fuck yeah, it's serious. <laughs> we will now refer to my beard as Pepe Le Pew, and I will accept nothing less. Okay. <laughs> Pepe Le Pew. You're going to get it's cancel culture, bro. They're going to shut you down for that. Is that everybody will cancel me because that's like that apparently offends everybody. Yeah. Hey, is that the first drive in the BMW this year? uh this year um yeah, well because it's been winter for so long yeah one of the first i haven't taken it out it's literally been sitting in my garage the entire time hey let me ask you a question so if you were married oh boy you, was this was this already answered by these folks on here no 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 i didn't ask it i just just curious just now i was thinking about it earlier today so if you were married would you let your wife drive your bmw or just your truck if she had her own car but it's like let's say she has her own car but it's like it's not the greatest car it's like kind of cool but she loves your BMW. She's like, I want to drive the BMW. Are you like, or like she's parked, you're parked behind her in the driveway one day and she's like, Hey, can I just take your car out to the grocery store? Yeah. Yeah. Are you cool with it? Yeah. Or yeah like, no, no. <laughs> I do it. No. <laughs> I've seen too many scuffed up rims in my life. I mean, I, ha I bought the tire and rim package with this. Um, but I just, I, I don't see, know. See, guy, you know what? We argue a lot. But I know it's all in fun because we're exactly the same. I would never fucking let my wife. I don't let her. Either. I'm like, no, that's my car, man. You take your. You own know, car. and anybody that knows me will be like, why not? Because you you drive like an asshole. Because that's what all my friends think. I drive like a maniac. But it's still like, I don't trust. Like, I might drive like a maniac, but I don't trust anybody else. Yeah. Does it? You're, is you're it just different? Yeah. Is what? it? Is it simply just for the fact that she's gonna fuck it up, or is it because it's? Is it a possessive thing because it's your car? No, it's like, you know, some things like that I have that are nice. I just want them to be mine. And I just don't want, it's not that I don't want to share them. I don't want the stress of somebody else fucking it up. Mm, so I'd rather just avoid, like, because like, if way. I was married or I had a like, girlfriend or whatever, that she wrecked my fucking car or like scuffed yeah. up my tires, the fight that would occur would be astronomical because I would fucking Insane. lose my mind. See, I don't. Nick, what do you? Because think? this is the thing. Like, I had I'm my old BMW, way. and I didn't bring it to the fucking car shop one time for a scuffed anything until this was going back 2000 and fuck 11, 12. And at the time, I was married, and 
took my car, scuff, rim, scuff fucking rim. Okay, Nick, are, are you the same as Guy for the same reason or for a different reason? The same exact reason. But I had one incident where my ex-girlfriend competed at nationals. I went there with her or on Saturday. I went to watch. And I, I surprised her by telling her she's staying with me for a week in Florida and not going back to Jersey. Yeah. So after the show, we were driving home and I like got lost twice, which added like a half hour onto my time home. Yeah. Is your hair parted so, in the middle? What? <laughs> no, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Would you let was anybody me? else do? Was anybody else thinking that the entire time? It looked like one of the little rascals. <laughs> no. <laughs> no let, today, man. Let, let, him let him finish his story, man. Can you just let him let him finish his story? You guy. <laughs> Go ahead, Nick. What? Back to my story before I was really interrupted. <laughs> so it added on like an hour to my total time home, and it was like really late at night already. So on the highway, I just pulled the fuck over. I got out the car and I looked at it and I said, You're driving home. So I let her finish the ride home and I fell asleep. Yeah. And that's oh, how that was the only instance in which you'd let her drive. Yeah. All right. What about you want me to just you want me to just gun it? That car's not that fast. Didn't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah show us guy show us how fast here it is goes. here he goes <laughs> he's gonna crash his I like car. The around. <laughs> it sounds like a lawnmower <laughs> <laughs> what do you got in that thing a fucking four cylinder um ian are you the same way no i don't give a fuck you don't give yeah i kind of figured you were like that yeah. i mean look it depends. Like, if I was, like, depends on like, what kind of car. Like, if I had dropped, like, 150K on a car, maybe I'd be oh, a little yeah, more The only way I'm going to believe you is if your wife is standing behind you. What? If you say no, you wouldn't, let her, you wouldn't let your wife drive the car. I need fucking, I need proof of life. I need her behind you when you say that. Oh, no, she, she man, he didn't, who I know is I'd say anything for him. Yeah, he like, doesn't give a shit. I don't give two fucks. I'll say yeah. this to her face. I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, uh, look, like, and Melissa has, like, done some little dingers. Like, she drove over someone's bumper in my truck. <laughs> like, think of that. She was, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So she was, the guy was backed in and she was or pulled in and she was backed in and she cut the corner. But, you know, Tacoma's like ground clearance is pretty high. Yeah. And the guy had a Civic and he was parked and she cut the corner shallow and literally <laughs> drove over and pulled the entire bumper off his car. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the Tacoma was completely unscathed. So it was OK. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, I mean, there's been like fucking curb rims and shit. But I mean, it depends. Like, you know, on a 50 to 70 thousand dollar car, I'm not going to fucking like kill myself over it, you know. Okay, if so I, like, if I'd like, you know, if I was like Chris and had a fucking GTR, but you know what, some of my buddies yeah. have like R8. Well, let me ask you a question. Would it like my buddy if... has an R8, I would never let him, my wife, probably drive that. I'm like, I mean, I don't know. Okay, would so you have a. Hold on, hold on. Would it be different if it was leased versus you own it? Well, no, because I my truck is leased in my car I own. So it, it no, no, no. One, one second. So you own a Kia Stinger, right? I have a Stinger in the Tacoma, yeah. In the Tacoma, yeah. So if you own, so what you're saying is basically if you owned like more of a dream car, then you would probably be more protective of it. Yes. It depends. Oh, it depends. I, I okay, wait, like wait, 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 wait. It depends. Because if it was like a SUV or truck, like if I had a two hundred thousand dollar, like you know, Range Rover Sport or like something, a G, like a G wagon or, or something, G wagon, yeah. I probably wouldn't give two fucks. I'd let her drive that, yeah. whatever. Yeah. You know, if yeah. it was a G low car, if it was a low car with her, like where she probably fucking hit the bumper on curbs and shit, then I'd be like a little reserved, but. If I drove her there a few times and I felt she was fine, I honestly probably wouldn't care too much. Yeah, I'm the same way. So I have a I have the Trackhawk. My wife drives it kind of whenever it's in the way. Like if I'm parked behind yeah. her or something, she'll drive it. But when I had my Corvette, I wouldn't. There's she didn't even want to drive it. She's like, she was too scared. She's like, I'm gonna fuck it up. Yeah. So, but it was kind of like my, I don't know. It's I'm I'm not good at sharing. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't really care too much. I mean, it's like, not, I'm not, I, at least I can admit it. You fucks are all like, oh, just because I don't want her to ding the rim. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> I worked my fucking ass off. That's my toy that I bought for oh, myself. No, no, no. I, I literally said, I literally said I, some, some things I just like to be mine and nobody else's. I, I agree with you. Yeah, that's what I was kind of getting at. I'm like, is it, is it, does, do you guys, any of you have like a possessive, like, I worked really hard. I bought that thing. That's kind of my thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, it, yeah, like some things, it's just like, that's my toy. 
like it's mine. Like you like my guns are my guns. You can shoot them. Yeah. But like you want, like get your own gun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be car. It's like whatever you kind no, of, val- whatever, whatever you, whatever you I'll, value. I'll, whatever I'll, you've... Share, I'll share anything. But like some things are just like, you know, I don't, I worked hard for it. I don't want to worry about it. And like, I don't have a problem if a girl was like, listen, this is my fucking car. I don't want you driving it. I'd be like, fine. I guess. Yeah. In the same way. Yeah. 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 I get it. I don't, I'd rather not drive your car. That, I think that's the, I think that's the main thing. I would rather drive my stuff then drive somebody else's so you drive yours i'll drive mine yeah my wife's the same way she's got her range rover it's kind of like i don't drive it it's her her yeah like both the vehicles like even though i bought both of them like they're mine i paid for them i like i just they're like our cars like i don't really give a fuck like yeah yeah. whatever one's in the in the driveway first like it's a two-car driveway but we usually park them one behind the other yeah Uh, you know it's just whatever one's available she drives some days it's the car some days the truck i mean some days we never drive the truck it's like what i I don't know yeah i think it like you said i think it depends on the car like the the jeep i don't care if she takes it yeah and and my truck my truck is too big so she's not going to drive my truck like yeah my cousin came over over the weekend and he's like my cousin race cars he's got a vet he's got a camaro he's like obsessed with so he was like and i go you you can go i go take wherever you want because like he i trust him yeah, yeah, I, I trust driving most driving fast fucking cars. Yeah, when, yeah. I, when I had my S4 before, Melissa never drove that. It was a standard. Like she can drive stand fine, but she didn't really like driving it, so she never drove it. But if she'd want to, I didn't. I didn't really give a shit. Whatever. Yeah, my brother, I, my brother I, tried I, it. I got my insurance. Bro- you know? my brother was like, uh, "You want to take my vet for a spin?" I'm like, "I'll go with you." I'm like, "You're not taking it. I don't want. I don't. I don't want anybody to take my stuff. It's just. It's yeah, my. Man. It's. It's my stuff." I don't know. Melissa's <laughs> insured the same on both the vehicles as I am. She crashed it. I'm just fucking insured. I mean, it's- yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird thing. It's like it not, doesn't not the crashing it. It's the like process of going through everything if something bad happens is the right. part that I don't like. Yeah. Like I- the car can always be replaced, but the fucking process of actually getting back to where you were and being whole again and fixing everything is a pain in the dick. And I rather if somebody's gonna fuck it up. I'd rather it be on me and nobody else. But I guess I'm using cars, but it doesn't have to be cars. Like, do you guys have anything else that you have, like, a lot of, you place a lot of value on that you just keep for yourself? Nick? Food. Food. <laughs> food. I don't share food. You don't share, <laughs> you don't share food how? Like, if it's in the fridge? Eight gram. Do not touch my food. So if a girl's over your house and the food's in the fridge, is it, what if she just wants to grab a chicken breast? She can go to the Publix right up the street and grab some chicken. Breast. <laughs> no, she, you're such a liar. <laughs> Nick, Nick is saying that, and he's the first one when a girl walks over. He's like, baby, I'll make you a gourmet meal. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't making no gourmet meals, motherfucker. You don't cook, you don't cook, for, no, there, you don't cook for no girls? No. Ever? No. I don't mean Nick, cooking I got anything, a question. I don't mean cook What's anything it? fancy. Like, you don't cook anything like, you don't just, you don't cook like a chicken breast and rice. You like, you won't make a girl anything? Well, I mean, I, I get trifecta, so I'll be I'll heat them up a chicken breast or something. <laughs> romantic, that's romantic. You know what I mean? I'll make it look all fancy and shit. Ian, do you cook for Melissa? No, but like she <laughs> eats her like you know how she is like I would. I mean, I don't care, but she eats like specific like you know she'll make her little like fucking protein mug cakes and like mm-hmm. you know proats and shit like fancy shit that I can't make the way she likes exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, so I mean, and it, but if she ever asks, like, "Hey, could you make it?" I don't give a fuck, whatever. I mean, yeah, yeah. I cook. I cook every single meal I eat fresh. Like, I don't meal prep any food. That's so right, I mean, yeah. like, I'm cooking fucking six times a day, anyways. I wouldn't care to cook one more time. Like, do you cook all your? Do you cook batches of chicken though, or do you cook everything fresh? Every single meal I cook fresh. Really? Wow. Because yeah. I cook like, more. My next meal, my next meal is not prepared yet. When it is, say, it's 250 grams of chicken raw, I'll go cut up 250. I'll put it in the air fryer, cook the rice, and it's good. Really? See, I've I I actually have uh, there's a company there's a, a place in Windsor called the Meal Prep Company. They just prep my my meats for me. Yeah, no, I cook everything. So so every twice day. twice a week I go and I pick up cooked steak, chicken, fish, and then I just put it together at my house. Like I warm it up in the frying pan. When, which, and then... which which day of the week do you go pick up your thousand dollar sushi order? <laughs> first of all it's, 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 only, it's only once or twice a week <laughs> i said hey, it's by a- the way do you know how many fucking dms i get hey bro you're i trust your honest opinion would you mind rating my physique personally one-on-one oh, dude oh my god i get so many of these yeah 
I don't. I, yeah, I, every I don't. time I open it up, and I'm like, I hate that. You know what I'm starting to? Re- I'm starting to think though. I don't think these. I keep getting. I got shit on again by a guy, who's like, Fu, I, I sent you guys the, the screenshot of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, Fu had said I have a small chest, so he went and got a chest pump, and then took a photo, and then he posted it, and I'm like, Well, it still looked like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh the only time that would matter or, or be of any value is if you're talking about your dick. But it just <laughs> it just becomes it becomes uh uncomfortable to do the rate your physique because people get upset. It's like they get sensitive and they just they ask to be rated don't, and then they get it. the thing if you're gonna be fucking sensitive, get get wait for the panel of judges to give you a fucking uh a, a twenty-five. Yeah. Be dead yeah. And last. What'd you say you cut out? I said if they think we're harsh, when the judges give them dead last, then they'll get a fucking reality check. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. Well, we're doing just as for fun. When they step on stage and they get smoked, they're going to be like, oh, fuck. Like, like listen, God, Fuad was right. Yeah. I mean, look, look at how, I mean, you guys gave me a fucking seven. I mean, I'm not, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not complaining, but like, I've won multiple fucking shows. I'm a pro. I'm a seven. People are getting mad for five or six. And I'm <laughs> Hey, how about you get home and then try and be on the podcast? I'm going to be yeah. home in 30 seconds. I'm on my fucking street at home. You keep cutting. Out. <laughs> We're like crazy. Yeah. I'm home. Drive, I'm home. I'm home. Drive, We're like, drive faster. I'm home. I won't read my I was actually wondering. I don't know if people want to have their physiques rated or they just want to be. Fe- fun of? Fe- featured no they want to be featured on the show yeah it's just they want to be on the podcast I think, there, I think there is a select few that are serious enough about like the the reality of progress in bodybuilding that they can take the critique and like use it you know and i i have had some people that we've critiqued that low message me and be like hey man i really appreciate your critique even you guys give me low it's really inspired me to like you know push or improve my chest or my quads or whatever it is i've got some nice messages regarding them yeah um, but i think you, you know that's more people just want to be featured on the show than people that are serious about progress and their physiques, you know? Yeah, I agree. agree. It's kind of annoying. It's like, I don't know, man. It's like, I I don't know. That's not why we're doing it. We're doing it for, you know what I think we should start doing is anybody that bitches to you and thinks they're wrong. I'd like, if you think you're so wrong and you want to put up a fight, we'll bring you on the podcast. You can say your argument in front of the four of us and then all four of us can fucking. No, that'll, that'll, that'll just make it worse. Nah, man. Put that motherfucker right in his place. No, bro, because I think some people fucking get really ballsy and mouthy behind fucking decks. And I'll be like, bring your ass on the fucking podcast. And I'll fucking, you want me to, you think fucking us rating you is harsh? Come on here with fucking us four. And then we'll tell you exactly what we think. No, I think the better idea is if somebody complains, we'll just feature that person on the next podcast and ask the fans what they think. Yeah. We'll be like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think we're wrong or right? Do you guys think what do you, what number out of ten do you guys think? And then when the whole comment section is a four, then the, the person. Well, you know, like, what they're, then they're going to say, "Oh, it's biased because they're your fans." Yeah, that's true. Well, the only other solution is just to not give a fuck. Yeah. So I don't. I would rather not give a fuck and keep making fun of everybody, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, I don't give. A fuck. Do you guys want to rate a couple? Yeah, we'll give a fucking one. <laughs> 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 all right let's do it all right i got uh hold on can we pause for can i go inside and get on my fucking on my uh computer why can't you know I... what? why don't you stop being late man hey some of us fucking train late shit oh, i know this kid one second <laughs> i gotta i gotta do this right again everybody's gonna fucking freak out i gotta try it okay right click there we go open new tab there all right i'm go. jumping over again my computer love you bye all right bye. bye all right let's see what this guy looks like this kid all messaged right. me quite a bit Heigl Nilsson. I, I, I don't think you said that name right. I think yet. I totally butchered, butchered his You name. fucked that up, bro. What you, okay, how do you say that? I'm, I'm like, not going to. Right. Hel- Helge, Helgi, Helge. Hel- Helgi Nilsson. Hel- Helgi, Helge. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> we'll just call him HN. Yeah. Okay, HN. Here we go. Let's HN. Go. Let's go. He's thick. He's got some thickness. H- he's got some good. Let people. me get he wants to be classic. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I didn't no. read it. It says uh, classic physique, twenty-one years old, five foot eight, two thirty. I don't like his. He's one ninety on stage. I don't like his stomach. Well, he's got a good vacuum there. He's got a wide rib cage, but his yeah, just, his it doesn't look classic. Yeah, no, he looks more like a bodybuilder for sure. He's got a very he's got a very thick torso. 
Yeah, it's his, his rib cage is wide. Yeah. 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 Good yeah, he should... his upper quads though. He's got good muscle though. If I were him, I would go for bodybuilding, not classic. Yeah, he's got a lot of just, yeah, it just, wait, it doesn't... Wait, this is him shredded. Mm. I can't really tell from that shot, but yeah, that I look like that shredded. Let me see. This is better. Oh, there you go. He still looks like a bodybuilder. This is all this is all very like it's not there's not too much taper there. Yeah, it's it's a bodybuilder shape. He's got weird quads to me too. They Who's have a leg? high there's a high sweep. That's they why. look like Bob Chicarillo's legs. Really? You know, Bob, you know Bob Chicarillo has that higher sweep? I can't even yeah. think of man, but yeah. Yeah, his sweep starts like a couple inches above the knee, just there's like a back this. Shot there. Let's see the lean back shot. Where do you see it down below? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, he's got a good back. Yeah, good back. That's not bad. I think he could be a good bodybuilder. Yeah, he's good. I would take the bodybuilder route for sure. I mean, I if know, he, I know this kid works really hard and like cares a lot about. He like, looks like he does. Yeah. Intricacy of, of bodybuilding. I think if he could keep pulling that vacuum and just get thicker and thicker, and thicker, he could be a really yeah. good bodybuilder. Yeah. That's good for twenty one too, man. That's, that's impressive. Yeah. He's got good legs. What do you think, Nick? Has he competed yet or no? Yeah, does he have stage shots? Go back, go down farther. Let's see if I can find something. Uh, Nothing here. His side poses are pretty good. Yeah, these are good. Side of the leg looks good. Hamstring looks good. So he would have been like 1920 there. So that's pretty good. I mean, I didn't look like this at 21. I think think you did, Ian, but I didn't. Uh, Yeah, I was better than that, but I mean. <laughs> I mean, I turned pro at like 23, man. Come on. <laughs> I was I was close to this at 20. Actually, 21. I did my first show at 21. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know. I was probably around this, like this. Good, I mean, it's like, you know, yeah. it needs a little more width than the lats there. Let's see. Let's see what he's benching. Let's see what his bench looks like. What is that? What is that? 160, 160 kilograms. I don't know what that is. It's like 350. Uh, I'm just guessing. Nobody shit on me in the comments. It's like uh, two multiply by two point two. Yeah. Let me see this. It, I, okay. it looks kind of poppy. Yeah, he's no, he got it. Nobody, he didn't. Yeah. I didn't touch it. It's all Brett. Okay, what are we saying out of uh, out of ten? Uh, on the amateur scale, I'm going to give him a. But if we're, are we rating him as a bodybuilder? Or a if we're if we're rating him as classic, I'm going to give him like a five and a half, only because he's too thick for classic. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm just going to rate him as a whole and as his potential in this sport. Um, yeah. You know, and I think that in his future is as a bodybuilder. I'm going to give him like a six, nine, seven. What? That high? <laughs> I think I'm. Um, I'm not far behind. I see six, six, five. Yeah, I mean. It, it's because I'm taking everything into consideration. If we're looking at the photo itself, it's six it five. Yet. But I think Ian's right. I think if you take his age into consideration, you know and the look amount of progress too. Like look at the progress here. How big he is in these recent photos compared to ones a year ago. I mean, like he's he's improving consistently. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could see six. Got some good muscle. Like I mean, uh, yeah, I, I'd put him in the mid to high sixes. You know, maybe a seven if. You know, within the next year or co, he could he bump into the sevens. I'm right in the mid six. Yeah. For me. I'll stick with my six nine. What do you think, Nick? You're you're lower, obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a five point eight. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking ruthless. <laughs> Let's see a video. A video is always better, better to determine it. Wow, he really opens up, eh? That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. The, I, I I'm sticking to my my number. I think he's he's good. He's got a lot of potential. Cool. Get another one. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Let me delete this first. Oops. Let me do oh, is that what you do? Delete them so we don't redo them. Yeah, just so we don't end up redoing it. Okay. Let's see. Five six three fifty. What? Natural body. Three fifty. This guy's just fucking around. He's lying. Okay, yeah, he's fucking around. Yeah. Let's see if he's full of shit. On fuck? stage. 410 on stage. This, guy, this guy's like 180. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> More t shirt, but 236 here. What is he talking? Okay, get out of here. Just trolling. Yeah. I fell for it. He got his he got his five minutes of fame. All right. Uh 59, 250, current weight, 200 on stage. 
All right, let's see. The grumpy Grizzly. Wow, that, that looks like, that looks, like a, looks like a good physique. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, look at that. Look at that. 239. Mending my cruise. Yeah. This is on a cruise, too. Yeah. That's a big back. I don't know if it's the angle of the photo, but his legs look tiny compared to his back in the shot. Look, find another right. shot. It's, it's a high shot, so it looks weird. Yeah, I think it's the angle. Let me see. Oh, this is him shredded. That's a good physique, man. Yeah, he's solid. Legs could be a little thicker. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's peeled, got the, though. Peeled. It, it's weird. It's like everything's kind of proportionate, but not the right size for his torso. You're right, yeah. It's, it's like, like his, the arms are a little, a little like, the, they're not high. Yeah, Lots yeah. And chest are a little shallow, and legs are not quite thick, but, like, his torso is big. It's weird. It's like everything's, every, yeah, everything matches, but because his torso and rib cage is so big, and he's bigger arms and thicker legs. Yeah. There's another. What's that black and white photo there? Let's see that one. Okay. I mean, that looks a little better because the angle, I think, looks a little more proportionate. I still think he needs more arms and legs to match his torso. His, his arms are, uh, well, he definitely needs more hamstring, man. It's yeah, like it's he needs bigger ass. Yeah, he needs more yeah. ass too. No, it's true. Yeah, ass and hamstrings. He's got to hit more. Be okay. surprised how many guys have great legs and they they don't have okay. any no, no ass. And okay, let's see, let's see. Side tricep, side awesome. tricep looks good. Good hamstring drop here. Side good chest is good. good. Side chest looks good. From the front, he loses some arms, but his legs look thicker here. I think he could pose that front double better. It's a little weird how he's like he's scrunchy. He's like this. Yeah, he's the, pulled in too tight. Yeah. The biggest weakness I see on his back is really good. The biggest weakness I see is hamstrings from the back. Hamstrings and adductors are for sure the weakest. Yeah. Yeah, but it's weird because his hamstring from the side has pretty good drop to it. Yeah. So nice. I think that's why it's more adductor than anything. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Good physique. Good physique overall. Look at this back. Yeah. Fuck, it's good. Field. Okay, so on an amateur scale, what are we going to say? Seven, nine, eight, eight. The legs could use more. I don't think I can go to eight without Seven, bigger, four, without two. bigger legs. His back is really impressive, though. What do you What did you say, Nick? Seven point two. Yeah, Nick, you're the harshest of everybody I've, that rates physiques. I would say seven and a half. I would. I'm sky on that. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm on. I'm at that same place. I'm okay. nice today. What'd you say? <laughs> He's in a good mood. Did you get late today or something? <laughs> Not today. Yesterday. All right, then let's rewrite my physique. Ready? Pull up, guy. <laughs> it's it's I'm getting you a ten today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We'll do one more and then we'll move on. Okay. Twenty-five years old. Five eleven. Two hundred four. Let's get somebody big. Two seventy-two. How mad do you think the kid's gonna be that you just read everything and passed him right up? Well, we'll get to it one day. It's okay. All right. <laughs> this guy's Does anybody crazy. else get confused when they look at the screen and Fuad's mouth is moving? This is a big boy here. Vilmer. Vilmer look at this fucking mustache. Fucking L this guy stash, is a fucking monster. Fucking awesome. A 10 he gets 10 a 10 for the stash right one off second, the bat. One second. 5'11", 272 offseason. What did it say they're bigger than Fuad? <laughs> He's got bigger arms than me. The big the two of us. Yeah. Dude, this guy's got a good physique. Look at his calves. calves. His big calves is a fucking his big toe. Ian, let me, Ian, let me ask you a question. I'm jealous. I was. <laughs> yes. I just I want to ask you. I want to ask you a serious question. This this kind of goes out to everybody listening, including you know Nick and Guy. Obviously, when you see somebody who has something that you don't have, is your eye drawn to it first? Yes. Yeah. You, normally. Yeah, because I'm like me and, I, and I, there was any, me and Ian didn't even take a breath on that one. <laughs> no. Well, yeah, it's the same thing that guy said, or you guys said the arms right away. Yeah. Well, I've never had good calves. So when I fucking saw this, I was like, holy shit, look at these yeah. calves. Well, my arms suck. So I stare at everybody's arms like, yeah. Oh. That's pretty good, man. There's not much to complain about. You could use a little bit chest. More, drop, more drop in the hamstring. Yeah, chest could be thicker. But he's also in the off season, So you can't really tell how thick his chest really Has is. He or no. His back is good. What'd you say, Nick? Has he competed yet or no? Last know, let's, let's go down. Look at his fucking arms. A big fucking boy. Good man, yeah. Nick, nice. He would smack the shit out of you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> How tall he is he? With, he looks tall. Works with Sean Smith. Okay. Okay. He looks like a fucking WWE wrestler. 
This mustache is fucking that awesome. stash. I just want to put some beeswax Wait, no, in it. A, does he look better? Does he look better with a beard or the stash? I like that, that beard is fucking impeccable. The beard is nice. <laughs> go up, go up, go up. There's, there's your college go for you, Fuad. There's him staying next to Ben. I want to see how big he is next to Ben. It's obviously a retired Ben, but still. Wait, he's a okay, so okay, so he's six foot, probably. Yeah, he's fucking big, man. Yeah. Yeah. He's six foot, six one. Holy mother of God. So that explains the 272. He's a big guy, but like look at him next to fucking uh what's his name Thor, yeah. Thor. okay so i'm looking for a, a shredded picture Wait, if there is that squat. i want to see that squat video oh god here we go where up up two more up right oh, that's there. a lot a lot of weight one two three four five 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 and a, five and a quarter with one extra rep this week let's see has he got a good squat it's more no. it's a yeah. powerlifting squat almost he's not that's dropping he's not breaking parallel that shit is horrible. it's not it's not a bad it's not horrible come on nick it's a good squad it just needs to be his butt needs to drop a bit more than his back yeah, he's he's nick, he's being it's, it's like you said it's a power lifter squat yeah if it was up to nick he'd write the he'd rewrite <laughs> the entire bodybuilding industry and everything we know but about. i mean either way he's cranking reps, he's cranking reps with five and a quarter i mean if he yeah. brought that down to four and a quarter five and did fucking nice reps it'd still be impressive i mean look whatever he's doing is working his legs look his legs look good so yeah who the fuck are we to say? His back is good. Arms are good. I'm just trying to find. Okay, that's it. So there's no shredded photos. So, so has he ever that's... competed before? Uh, his picture says, planning on competing this year. COVID canceled oh, my last my no, shows last I year. I guess not. No. Oh, no, no. Okay, so we have this picture to go by. We have this side chest. He's the most muscular up above too. Yeah, this one's good too, yeah. Okay, so quads are good. Chest yeah, could be a little. Arms are good. Chest arms... needs to come up, yeah. How's the hamstrings? I feel like the shoulders could come up to match the arms. The arms, yeah. And I'm being super nitpicky right now, so don't nobody fucking freak out. But uh, this guy has never competed. This is one of the best physiques I've ever seen for someone that hasn't competed. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Oh, to that his, video. Hey, there you go. His back is thick. Fucking too, man. thick guy, man. Yeah. See, his shoulders, I feel, could cap off more. Yeah, I agree. His his back double, like he kind of has the shape of that Wesley Vissers guy, you know? Yeah, I can see that. In the back double. It's just when he's when he's watch when his arms come back down at the beginning of the video. See that how his, yeah. his shoulders don't cap off enough. Yeah, no, he needs more delts. <clears throat> and I see the same thing from the front. Like it, it just looks like it needs a little bit. Yeah, especially because of the size of his arms. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's like I said, that's just being really nitpicky. Like he's got a good, good fucking physique, man. Yeah. Good job, bro. Lat, lats are good from the front. Waist is yeah, I mean, good. Great, yeah. He could use a little more lower lat if you were nitpicking, but yeah. I also it also looks like his posing is very yeah like, okay amateurish, you know I'm gonna give this guy like a fuck on the amateur scale without saying say easy nine nine, nine and a half yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna say nine eight point eight I was gonna say nine two yeah eight point eight eight point eight to nine I can't give a I nine and a half nine he's, he's he's that big and never competed he's a nine yeah 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 he's he's definitely he can't be he's got to be in the nines at, at this guy competes, if this guy's listing when you compete. And you get shredded. Send us all pictures so we can fucking do this again. Because I want to see. Yeah, Bill Maher ninety one. <laughs> yeah, make sure you fucking spam, spam us all with the DMs or something so we. Make okay, can I, can I shave I that mustache? I'm fucking gonna give you a negative three. Okay, one sec. He, uh, Nick is ruthless today. What do you think? I was gonna give him a uh, eight point eight. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just uh, I want to say something for people who get mad when we give them fours. This is why. Yeah. Because these this, guys are out here that have never even competed. This guy, this guy is why some of you are getting fours. This guy, like when you look at him, this motherfucker set the standard, bitch. I literally had to nitpick. <laughs> I literally no, just seriously though, I had to literally nitpick his physique and just pick out the caps on his shoulders yeah, to find. He, he's aware too, like he wrote the caption here that he needs to work on his chest, his midsection, blah blah blah. Like he knows. No, I know. I'm just making a point to those people that freak out when we say something negative. It's like this is what we're looking at. No, no, but I'm saying to the people listening, like this guy's even aware of his, you know, yeah. like he's not being like, I'm the best thing ever, you know? And that's, those are the guys that usually make it. Like what, proof, yeah. the, the funny thing is most pros could, could name like four or five fucking things they hate about their physique. These guys that never make it or complain when someone gives them a five are the guys that think they're fucking tens. Yeah. It's like, no, man, this is close to a 10. Like, next time you th you get upset because you got a four or a five Google or Google Vilmer 91. Yeah, Google, <laughs> Google Vilmer. I mean, and this guy in person must be fucking big as shit, too, because he's <laughs> over six foot. This is a big boy, man, you know? 
All right, let's go. People don't like too many break your physique, so we'll just finish on a good note. <laughs> well, fuck, man. People, because people are like, oh, I was listening on the audio and I can't see the photos. I hate it when you do the rate your physique. So <laughs> this... Close your eyes and fucking imagine it, pal. Or just yeah. go on YouTube and we'll get the get the views up, get the view count up. Um, okay, so Nick, you want to do a relationship questions? Oh, yeah, Christ um, Almighty, this is like fucking. My I especially want to die on. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, don't don't think I'm going to be throwing you all these bones because you said I was one of your favorites. Now, <laughs> yeah, you have to, to you have to from now on. You have to. I just, I just want to hear your relationship advice. Did you see that? Okay, right, let me hear it. Ian, did you see that last week? What? Nick said Guy was one of his favorites in the IFBB, and Guy almost cried. Really? Yeah. I like how Fuad fucking just makes it seem so much <laughs> fucking more, more like queer than it is. What? I just that was exactly <laughs> what happened. He goes, hey, God, Ann, I don't know if you saw what happened last week, but uh, Nick, dude, exactly what he did, just like this. Yeah, Ann, I don't know if you saw last week, but uh, Nick said that uh, he was one of Guy's favorites and Guy almost cried. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like, that's what that's, happened. That's like what, do you want me to say? To... what do you want me to say? Tell me how I should have said it. You should have said, Ann, I don't know if you saw last week, but Nick said that Guy was one of his favorites and you know, he said a lot of nice things, and guy got a little choked up. Not that he's a fucking pussy card. That's the same fucking thing. That's the same thing. Get right? the fuck out of here, Nick. <laughs> Nick, back me up. Anything, That's not the same thing. Thank That's you. So I was like, look, was, it literally went, and uh, yeah, guy cried. You added a sentence. All, all, all you did was add a sentence. You're like, it, he's, he's, that, he's, sentence he's, the world that sentence changes everything. That's not what happened. We were saying who our top three favorites in bodybuilding were. And Nick felt bad for Guy, so he said Guy has- Ah, oh, here we fucking go. <laughs> here we go. Fouad's like the guy that doesn't get picked first in like kickball and gets mad about it. I never like, got oh, picked. I never got picked first in any sports. I don't give a shit. I always got picked first. By the way- Did you? Every, well, I can admit I did. Nick, or Ian, you got picked first in everything? I mean, I was like like a really Probably good guy. But you were really he was a bully. I was popular and I was like the best you athlete. You were a fucking bully. Kidding. I could tell. <laughs> I was not a bully. You were a fucking bully. No, not at all. You're With those fucking man. earrings and that comb over, you were a bully. Mark I didn't my have words. Comb over in high school, I had spiked up hair. <laughs> like definitely like, a bully. Nick, were you were you picked first or last? I was always first. Yeah. Really, guy? Were you picked first or last? In what? In sports, <laughs> like in generally, in well, if it was a height sport like basketball, I was usually fucking not picked first. <laughs> <laughs> I was always picked in the middle. I wasn't ever. If it laughed. was like if it was kickball, like I had, I like certain things. I was paid. I was bullied though. I I have no. I can admit it. Full. I was bullied from kindergarten, first grade up until about. I I stopped getting bullied when I was about a freshman in high school. You guys were all picked. Well, okay, guy wasn't picked first. You two were picked. I was always picked in the middle. But it, that's wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Do you have an wait, older wait, brother? Wait, wait. Hold on. I wait, wait. I want to see something. You have an who had older or younger brother? I have three older brothers that'll beat the shit out of me on a regular basis. Okay, Ian. Uh, I just have an older sister. Nick, only child. I have uh, an older. My my sister's the oldest, by the way. Sorry. So wait. So you are you like considered a middle? Me? I'm the I'm the baby. I'm the last of four. Of five. Oh, you're the last. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm the small. So you're the, the baby. Ian's the only male, right? I'm the baby, but yeah, only male. Yeah. Okay, and the baby. Jesus Christ, you and Floyd got a lot in common. Nick. I have an older brother. So you're the youngest. Yes. Oh, so that answers everything on his podcast. Why? What, what's this? Your... just answered. Okay. Everything just came to fruition. Before you explain why, can you tell what's your situation? Are you the oldest or the what's going on? Oh no, I am. I'm the worst. I'm. I'm in. The, I'm the worst place possible. Are you an only child? No, he's a middle child. There it is. Uh, you're so you're useless. You're like not good at anything. What do you want me to go one on waitress? <laughs> Well, the middle child's always the fuck up. Actually, I, you know what? I didn't, I, when I was about, when I'm a 30, I just turned 39. When I was about 35 was when I found out that I was the like, uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> my mom that. was at a fucking wedding. Or no, she, a wedding. She was at a family <laughs> function. My OCD's kicking in. That's why I had to fucking close that. Um, and they were talking. And I'm in a comment that my brother was the accident. And my mom goes, that's what you think? And I go, that's not the truth. She goes, you were the accident. No, no. I was like, are you fucking serious? He's like, yeah, you weren't supposed to happen. I was like, now nah, it all makes sense. Yeah, but you know what? That's okay. I was like that too. 
So my mom, my mom and dad had. You don't know what it's like to be a middle child. No, no, no. I know that, but just hear me out. My mom and dad had four kids in Lebanon, and then they moved here, and I was born here kind of by accident. They weren't, they weren't trying to have a kid. It just kind of happened. So I guess I was, I guess I was kind of an accident too. Yeah, it's okay. When, 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 like when, when they're like you're an accident, I'm like, so like, did you not mean to have sex that day? (laughs) Like. Well, they were meant to have sex. They just didn't mean to get pregnant. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm the accident and the middle child. So what does it mean? Because we're all the youngest. What does that tell I you got about? the, and my, I can FaceTime my parents right now. And they will flat out tell you that I got the least amount of attention from everybody. Yeah, the middle child I got always gets no attention. Yeah. Not that my parents didn't give me attention, but my brother was the baby. My sister was the oldest girl and the only girl. Yeah. And they got way more attention than me. So Wait, what is what you said? So it all, I like I was I was the most independent out of everybody. But wait a second, you said it all came to fruition. So what does that mean? That we're yeah. all the youngest. What does it tell you? We're all, we're all coddled yeah. pussies, is what he said. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're trying to say? I mean, I didn't say that, but I mean, that was a very educated way to say it. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was coddled. I can I could totally admit it. And watch this, Nick. I work too. Well, Nick's Nick's still coddled. You fucking. <laughs> I am. <laughs> uh that's okay i like it i'm proud where of my it. middle where my I, leave if you're in a middle child give me an m for middle baby in the comment section i want to see a bunch of m's motherfuckers i think, that, I, think that, I think the youngest has the best for sure I'm ta- yeah no shit dude. that's why i'm saying i have it the worst no i know oh thanks for the i feel bad kid. for you yeah okay you look real well, fucking depends. happy I mean, if you're if you're one of the kids where it's like your parents have like 75 fucking kids yo pick your phone off the couch you jagaloon i can't hear you can't hear you. Something's covering your speaker. You can't hear me? No, I can't. Yeah. fucking your speaker. Stop it. Oh, I was holding the laptop. That's why. I said, if you're one of those parents, if you like have like 15 siblings, like, you know, one of those, and you're the last kid, then by that point, they don't give a flying fuck about the kid. <laughs> yeah, but true. by that point, you're, you'd be on one of the TV series anyway, so you'd be yeah. making money. That's true. All right. Let me, uh, let me ask a relationship question. Great. Nick, you can start. <sighs> All right. Okay. Well, How did y'all know when you found the one? I haven't found. <laughs> <laughs> I found the one that wasn't the, the one already. <laughs> I'm still on the search. He's still on the search, guy. What about you? Because you have, you've been married like twice, haven't you? Twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Once. I twice? found the. I apparently I found the one that wasn't the one. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> When did you know that the one that wasn't the one was the one? Yeah, how did you know the f- one was the fake one? Or before she was fake, how did you know that she was the real one? I, you know, I don't think it's a good question. Seriously, why'd you get married? Uh, I, I thought she was the one. Why? That's what we're trying to get to. Uh, the day I met her, I was like, I literally, the day I met her, I'm like, this chick hates my guts. I thought she hated me. She didn't give me the time of day. Yeah. And then, uh, that made him water huh that would, that's what happened to me too go ahead actually our first real conversation was about farting and i was like this chick's she's awesome i gotta she's, marry this I girl like, she's awesome. <laughs> you know well but, how does that uh, how does that conversation go how do you talk to a girl about farting you don't know her um her, like her friend at the time i i was a pussy and asked her friend for her number yeah and we were in the gym and she was dieting and she was talking about how her farts smelt like fish because she was uh, dieting for like whatever show. <laughs> and so I, her- sent her, I sent her a text and I was like, hey, it's Guy. Um, per, I got your number from someone. So I was like, per your conversation, try putting some gold bond in your underwear so when you fart, it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to be. That's the way to be, Guy. That's good. And, I can, con- and I can confirm that story as well. That was your pickup line? <laughs> Yeah, I fucking just threw the old number one. That's she, she thought she thought that she thought the advice she probably was thought good. this guy's the biggest fucking loser in the world. So anyway, so years down the road, how long before you got married, and why did you think she was the one? I, it would just I don't know, man. It just uh, you know, you you either click like you clicked, you you click with people, but the problem, the the mistake that I had, and uh, was that I really feel that. I should have lived with the person before I got married. And I didn't, I didn't do that. And that was a huge mistake. And it wasn't because she was a bad person, but 
living with somebody is very different than dating them and seeing them on the weekends or seeing them here and there because like there were things I did that drove her fucking crazy, but there were things that she did that drove me fucking can, insane. Can I just say something real quick? So there's a right wing podcaster that I listen to, and uh, he was just saying that oh. the it doesn't matter. I don't want to get people all. Enough? I don't want to get people all excited in the fucking comment section. Just leave it alone, Ian. <laughs> so I, I want to know if I listen to it or know it. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, so the guy's like, the worst thing you can do is live with somebody before getting married, and I'm like, what? that's the that's the worst advice I've ever heard. And because, you're about you're you're about because, to tell me you're about to say something different. No, I'm just I'm agreeing with you. I think the best oh. I think the best thing you can do is live with somebody before you get married. I yeah. agree with because sure. I because like me and me and Summer lived together for. I don't know, a year or two before we got married. And it helps you because you're like, you can figure out how like you can pay bills. You figure out how lazy the person or not lazy the person is. Who's going to, you kind of figure out your roles. Like who does the dishes more than the others? Who does the laundries, laundry more than, it's kind of like you just get into a routine. So when you're married, it's like, you kind of have it all figured out already. It's not all fucking brand new. Well, so we years before we got married. What's that Ian? We lived together for five years before we got married. Yeah, yeah, it, I think it's the best way to go. So I'm definitely agreeing with you, guy. Like, it doesn't make sense to. No, nah, what's your shirt say? Before I, I can't, I can't focus on anything else. It's Jamie Joe Hall's Pizza Gains. Because <laughs> we're fucking. We're you pizza. know what I kept? Did you see me? I kept doing this, like looking up to thinking I can. Like you can see over, shirt, and I could. It clearly nothing was happening. <laughs> I go. You know what I've been and on this topic though, and I've been. You know, having this conversation with someone the other day and then i've been hearing a lot of stuff about like like on podcasts and like you know shit like relationship that. sucking no about uh, <laughs> like having sex too early in the relationship and then getting like oxytocin love bonding so then you ignore all the red flags and this is what like everybody does what's, wait what's oxytocin and love bond? So what is like that what you, you have sex too soon and yeah. then your body releases it's like a chemical release and then your body convinces it's, like that it's in love and then you ignore red flags so it's like yeah. you should be, 12 dates is the number before you have sex. Yes, this is real, real life. Yeah, I don't think I've gone on 12 very, dates in the past 10 years. Real size. What? I don't think I've been on 12 dates in the past 10 years, <laughs> girlfriends included. Yeah, yeah but I've I think... been on 12 dates my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it I don't think it matters how early you have sex. I think it matters how fast you get married. No, oh, I think it definitely matters how it matters how fast oh, wait, you get married. Wait, wait. This is a real scientific thing. This isn't like a, a you know. Oh, it's not an opinion. No, no, this is real oxytocin love. Oh, like, okay. it's okay. a real thing. Yeah. But, but, I, but, I, but I just feel like, but I feel like, isn't it like, let's say you fuck after the first date or second date or whatever, right? You fall in love. And you fall in love, right? You fall in love. Well, you, you think fall. you fall in love. Yeah. I know, right. I'm agreeing with you guys, but just hear me out for a second. Let's say you kept dating for like two, three, four years before getting married. That shit's going to wear off anyway. What? That feeling is going to wear off. That like lustful feeling of like, oh, I love this girl really just because you banged. That's going to wear off after a year or two anyway. It's not going to fucking still mm. stick around. It's not going to still. I don't be know. I've I've been I've been with I don't know. Have you, I've been with girls that have kept my interest from the time I fucking started dating them till the time I fucking if we broke up. I've I know. I'm, I'm not like okay. in, in the bedroom. I agree, guy. But what I'm asking you is this. You know when you meet a girl and you bang, whatever you start dating, you know how I you love life is fucking just all going to be horrible after this. Just, podcast. just I, paid, I should get paid so much money for this. Just hear me out for a second. I'm gonna so. start dating. I just might as well just start dating men. <laughs> just, just hear me out. So you get that like really lustful, like oh I got to be with this girl, right? But yeah. doesn't that wear off for everybody? No matter no. even even if the even if the sex is still good. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying. I'm not saying that that leads necessarily people getting married. I'm just saying yeah. it leads people to ignore a lot of red flags. Yeah, I in agree a relationship with that. They might yeah. not have if they'd waited longer in the relationship, might not have even got point to that point. Yeah, if yeah. They waited to have sex. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. I think okay. the problem is having sex is such like a cultural thing now that, like, I think somebody that, to last 12 dates before they have sex is almost like it's weird. Like, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I'm not it's saying weird. I don't agree with it. I'm just saying in this day and age, People like meet the first night and for, and they know each other for five hours and they're banging. Yeah, yeah but there, there's also a huge like I mean I, I don't know if everyone saw any saw my post the other day, but like 
I mean, there's a huge thing now, like relationships are fucking like lasting less than ever, you know? And I yeah. think a lot of that has to do with that kind of Tinder instant hookup, you know, sex quick society. Tinder, but wait a second. Tinder. Wait a second. I have a, I have a flip side to your point, Ian. If you meet a girl, let's say you really like her, right? You're infatuated with this girl. You don't fuck, right? Yep. Don't you still ignore the red flags if you really like her? Because you're still trying to get in her fucking pants. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe to a maybe to yeah. a point, but you know, you'll ignore them. Like, you'll ignore them to bang her, not ignore them to date her. Yeah. But wait. 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 But the the end result way, is the same, though. Either way. Wait. Either way, you're not getting that same hormonal chemical release that you're getting from having sex so it does change things from a mental perspective yeah yeah, yeah. okay okay so everyone all the kids listening 12 dates be good yeah it's like fuck you <laughs> 12, 12 dates i mean um, you shouldn't be having sex until you're married anyways <laughs> okay so guy you found the one and then she wasn't the one how did you know she wasn't the one can we edit this part of the podcast oh let's just leave it out okay nick <laughs> Well, I'm kidding. No, go ahead. No, I no, no. I'm I'm listening. I'm an open book. Ask it again. I just want to I know. I found the one who wasn't the one. Know how did I know she wasn't the one? After what, she wasn't what was the end? Yeah. Yeah. How did she turn out to not be the one? Um, we just kind of fucking drifted apart. And it was like after a while, it was kind of like she became like I'd walk in the door and was like, hey, and hey. Mm. Like she would go to bed before me, and then I'd go to bed. She'd already be passed out, and then she'd wake up before me and she'd go to work, and then like I'd be home all day, and then like she'd get home and I'd leave for the gym. And, and so we were just like on completely different fucking planets all the time. And it got to the point where it was like, all right, like how much fucking of not seeing each other, not sleeping together, like tried therapy, like, and listen, like she's, she's one of my closest friends. I, there's not, I can't say a bad word about her. Guy, like, did you do therapy? I tried with our, yeah. And the therapist flat out fucking said, <laughs> the flat out, the therapist goes, you guys shouldn't be married. Really? Yes. That never happens. I'll the- never forget it. He said, you guys should not be married. Holy fuck. That's a horrible therapist. Yeah. Well, she didn't <laughs> want to go back to him. Um, but it doesn't, you know, I feel like that kind of happens to everybody when they're married. I mean, look, me and Summer, me and Summer have been together for 14 years. Okay. We're going on, we're going on, I don't know. Fuck, she's going to be mad at me now. I think it's like seven or eight years married. Um, it, it's like. You know, we don't, we don't, sometimes she goes to bed before me. Sometimes she wakes up before me and goes to work. Sometimes, you You know, know sometimes, sometimes, sometimes sometimes we go a week or two without banging. Like it's fucking marriage. It's like, it doesn't, it's not the same as when you first meet for two years. Yeah. Right. Right. Like the first five years of our relationship were like a fucking honeymoon. Okay. So you know what it was? The first, like I got, I got married See, we had a rocky start because like there was some, you know, I met her and we dated and a lot of stuff happened for almost a year and we didn't date. And then we got back together. And then six months later we were engaged. And I think what happened was like, I didn't have that period of like that honeymoon phase. A lot of fun. Like, yeah. like I had it like for two months and then we broke up and then it was like eight months of like hell. Yeah. And then we got back together. And then six months later we were engaged. So it was like, oh. I, I think I kind of rushed it myself. You know, but See, was, uh, I, I learned a lot of lessons from it. Yeah. You know? See, me, and, me, and Summer, me and Summer were together for a year and then we broke up for a year. Okay. Well, I was together with my ex for like two months and then we broke up for like eight, nine months and then got back together. And then less than six months later, we were engaged. Yeah, that's see, that's a difference. When me and Summer got back together, we were together for another four years before we got engaged. Yeah, see, no, not me. Yeah, I, I take things fucking super slow man i was like yeah she but she didn't care either like she was cool with just like being together and not being married yeah <clears throat> but yeah we were, we were together for five years before we got engaged living together for four of that so okay i'll ask you since we can't ask nick ian what uh what how did you know like how did you know that was it wait 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 what wait it's always such a hard question do you have a good answer for this do you have like a concrete answer for it i think i have an answer i think and it's it's i guess it's cheesy but if I, I guess, felt- wait, I'll give my answer before you do because I was asked for it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Wow, that was you like, you like, like, that. You like casted it out, <laughs> reeled it, and then like pulled it back. <laughs> it's because I didn't, I didn't want to answer it, and then you give it and be like, "Oh, me too," you know. Yeah, so I didn't yeah, look like I was just stealing go, your answer. So. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <sighs> he took your night was, crawler. I guess the biggest thing was like when you, I felt like I could really be myself, and like I'm kind of a fucking weird guy and do some fucking weird shit, and like. You know, in other relationships, you feel like you kind of have to dull down who you are and stuff, you know? And, like, it was, like, I never felt more, like, 
able to be myself and like comfortable and like, you know, I can make my fucking ridiculous jokes and, you know, just be myself all the time. And it was like, she loved me for that and like accepted me for that. And I never felt like judged for it whatsoever, you know? And not pay your parking ticket. Can I, can I say you're an asshole now or should I wait? Me? Yeah. Why? You said exactly what I was going to (laughs) say. That's why I wanted to say it first. (laughs) Well, for me, for, well, cause kind of the same thing for me. Cause I had like, you know, I was dealing with the, our first fucking date, man. I drove five hours to go on a date with this chick. Yeah. I meet her. We go to Milestone. It's like a bad episode of The Notebook. No, 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 no. Just listen. It's not, it's not, it's not that cheesy. It's, I'm getting to a point. We go to dinner. I have, my social anxiety at that time was really strong. I sit down to dinner. We order our fucking food. Halfway through dinner, I start sweating my bag off. Like, <laughs> literally, like I'm doing cardio, right? It's like, I'm like, holy fuck. So she looks at me. She goes, are you feeling anxious? Because we had spoke on the phone for a couple of weeks, like before we went out. And I'm like, yeah, I kind of feel fucked up. She goes, you want to go outside and get some fresh air? It's fucking winter outside. There's snow on the ground. Yeah, but you were probably like, oh, let's go. As soon as she asked me, I was like, yeah. So she put her coat on and we fucking go outside. I cool off. We come back in and finish dinner. And I'm like, that's the girl. It's yeah. just like, I'm like, I knew. I'm like, this girl, I can be as fucked up as that. And she's like, yeah, dude, yeah. W- when we got married at the altar, I'm sweating because <laughs> I'm fuck. everyone's watching us. And she takes my fucking napkin out of my, out of my tux. It starts wiping my fucking head for so, me. Okay, so at the altar, my brother took my brother had a thing in his pocket, and at the altar, he takes it out in the middle of the ceremony and wipes my entire face. I'm the same way because <laughs> no. you're sweating too. Yeah, yeah, but see, that's thing. I don't have anxiety. Like I'll be on a body. You just sweat, yeah. and I just sweat from my forehead, and I don't yeah. know why. Yeah, but it just it my forehead always gets sweaty. Like, and yeah. I can be talking in front of like a uh, public speaking, and sweating completely calm as could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'll just sweat, you know? Go ahead, Ian. This was a strategic thing we did when we got married is we got married in the winter because we knew there was absolutely no chance that I could wear a suit and get married outside in the in the summer. It was just like, there's no chance this was happening. Yeah. I got yeah. married in January and I told the priest, I go, if you even turn that fucking uh, thermometer on, I'm going to freak out. Oh, we, did, we did the ceremony outside. Yeah. Oh, that's, really? That's, <laughs> yeah. That, I would have loved like, that. Winter. Like real winter, Canadian winter, we did it outside. Real, That's- real, real winter. <laughs> well, I mean, like fucking, like people in Florida, it's like, okay, yeah, it's not fucking winter, you know. Hey, like, Ian, is uh, is all wheel drive the same as four wheel drive? You're no. such a fucking douche. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> not the same. Shut the fuck up, guy. <laughs> it's different. Who thinks it's the same? I thought it was the same. I got Ooh, roasted. Host, I got, I got the roasted host of this ridiculous podcast. I got roasted for it pretty bad. Yeah, no, not the same. Did you really? <laughs> no, I mean, you roasted me. Nobody else cared. Oh. I roasted him like a stuck pig, son. <laughs> yeah, no, it's different. All right, so we all that's okay. We all yeah, we're, we're, we're got Bashy wants to fucking go to another let's topic. Move on to, move on to the next thing. Let's move on to the next question. Yeah, on to the next. <laughs> uh, where should guys be trying to meet girls if on apps? Which apps in particular? Really looking forward to this episode. I need help, Nick. I got a question. I have a question. Wait, I want Nick to answer. One second. I want. Yeah, Nick I'm to useless. Answer. I'm yeah. happy to this one. Nick, where do people? Where do guys meet girls nowadays? Instagram. Hey, Jim. Instagram. What about, is there any other specific apps or is it just Instagram? No, I don't use apps. I've only used Instagram. But what if a guy doesn't have 400,000 followers? Well, then maybe like Tinder or something. Hinge, Tinder, Bumble, what the fuck else is there? So you think, you think Instagram is the best. How do you meet a girl on Instagram? Well, they usually slide into my DMs and then I just kind of start to combo. Oh, look at you. Look at you, fucking stud. They usually start talking to me first. Nick, you should just write a book on how to live life. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll just say this. Those ass man shirts. They, they, help, they, they helped out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, guy, you also are... are you know, still not married. So where, where do guys meet? I, I don't, I've never downloaded any of those apps. And I was actually downloaded Bumble once, like two years ago. And I had it for three days. And like, you know how like the girls have to message you first? Yeah. Well, like she messaged me and then I messaged her. I just said like, Hey, or something like, it was like very short. Yeah. And then the next thing I got was, um, cause I didn't know how to use it. And I was like, I just want to be open with you. I'm a tranny. And I was like, the, the whole app was deleted. <laughs> I deleted. The whole app was completely gone. I was like, fuck this. this is fucking did, you, did you look at her photos first? <laughs> Hell no. I said, delete. I deleted the whole app. You've been real. Never, guy. never been on Tinder. Is he, she hot? Well, enough that he swiped right to her initially, though. That's right. So you obviously liked you were, the way she looked. 
He was like, he tricked you. You were fooled. What? You were fooled. He tricked you off the bat. No, they can message without you swiping, I think. Oh, they can. No, you got to. <laughs> <you gotta, laughs> hold on. I live with a single guy. I know that this doesn't work like that. Ken Nick, and his Nick, girl. Nick, I think we just found something out about Guy. Guy. Yeah, suck a fucking bag of dicks because you're hey, crazy. Oh, oh, right? In Guy's defense, in Guy's defense, there's some fucking good ones out there. Hey, man. No, especially if you're just like, I, I'm, I'm not one. To sit there and go through fucking thirty pictures. I'm fucking. I'm fucking that. around. I know there's trannies that look like hot girls. Hot girls. Yeah. Yeah. On yeah. Bumble. Ooh. Hey, you, ever been, you ever been approached by a tranny? Uh, yeah. And what'd you think? Not your cup of tea. No, it's, it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not my role. Um. Tell us a story of how you pro- how'd you propose to one, a woman has to send a message to a man, then they can chat without any restrictions. Yes. yes. So, but how it works is the guy swipes right, then the girl sw- a- a- agrees to, but the girl's the only one that can initiate the conversation. The guy can't just go DM girls. It's but they both have to have matched each other. So you matched, guy. You matched. You matched. You matched. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's not your fault, man. <laughs> I love that dick. <laughs> Uh, Ian, how did you how did you propose to your wife? This guy needs ideas. Do you want to tell the story, Melissa? Or do I tell the story? Um, I'm not good at telling stories. Okay, it was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I did it. We we had gone away for uh, to a. I don't know if you know uh, Chateau Montebello. Do you know what it is? No. Chateau Montebello. No. No. <laughs> It's like a fancy, like a like wood chalet, fancy place on the Quebec side. It's really nice. Yeah, like, I think I've seen photos. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I used to go there a lot when I was young, like with my family, because it's it's on the, the river and we had a boat, so we would go there. That's awesome. And, and Melissa had never been there. So I was like, we want to go there. And so I took her there for her birthday. So we did like a long weekend. We went there for a couple of days. Um, and she kind of thought that like the trip was supposed to be like her birthday present, you know, like we went away and had like nice couple nights there in the fancy room and like the dinners and stuff. Um, and then the day, that day of her birthday, then like when we got home after nice dinner and we were all dressed up and, you know, I like went into the closet where I had like one big box and I was like, Oh, you got one more gift here. Like one kind of surprise, you know, mm-hmm. thing, blah, blah, blah. But it was in a big enough box that you couldn't tell what it was. But then I like Chinese dolled it where I had like yeah. box, had a box. Like there was fucking like, isn't, 10 that, isn't it a, isn't that Russian? Is it, yeah, yeah, whatever. Are you ra- is that racist? I think that uh, might be right. Okay, go on. <laughs> but it was go like, on. and they were all, every box was wrapped. It wasn't just like shitty boxes. They were all nicely wrapped, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it got down to the last box. And then the ring wasn't in the box though, right? It was just a note. Yeah, okay. And then the last box was like a small, small box. No, it was the note. The ring will be yours in 36 months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, on, it's at least, yeah. Um, so then I, uh, the last box just had like a note in it and, and then she opened the box and when she like, as she opened it and wrote the note, it said, will you? And then I like got down one knee and I had the ring. Oh, nice. Well, did you it exploded in tears. Okay, let me ask you a question. Did you think, did, did she ever tell you she had like an inkling that you were going to do it? Like, did she think it was coming or no? Zero no. percent. No clue. Babe, you had no clue I was going to do it, right? Look at those puppy dog eyes. I'm sure she's going to say no. So- I, I want to ask you at this point because we had we had started like was the, she upset that you did it on her birthday i was always told you don't do it on a birthday or a holiday yeah fuck that i didn't care it was, <laughs> such, a good, it was such a good opportunity like how i lined it up i was like this is a good we're gonna be away at a nice place like yeah it was just like it flowed nicely with the idea i had it just like made sense you know and all about I, I know Melissa cool. well enough to know that she wouldn't be upset about stupid yeah shit like that, so i didn't care so what i want to ask is did you spend five times earnings on the on the ring? Do you want to know how much I actually spent on the ring? Or no, we can just be a ball. I don't. That's I don't know if that's not, that's polite, but well, I know the, the, the rule. I know the rule. The rule is yet you're supposed to spend five times like one check or something like that. Five wait, wait, times. five times that you said earning like year. So no, no, no. I mean like well, you're, it's supposed to be five times your check. Isn't that the rule? No, I definitely didn't do that. No, there is something. It's like three months pay or six months pay or yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> something like retarded, yeah. 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 Um, so did you get close or no? I probably spent more, to be honest. Really? Huh? Yeah. Wow. I spent well, a lot on the ring. Yeah. How'd you have that much money at that age? What the fuck? Uh, uh, a lot yeah, of save, a lot of saving. Yeah. Riding dirty. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I, you should see it. It's nice. I didn't. Uh, I didn't do that, man. I was fucking not making a lot of money at the time. Are you guys gonna not like say what it costs? Because now I'm like sitting here fucking wondering what you guys. Well, if he said it's more than three times fucking his salary, that's yeah. But like, what's what is three times my salary? Somebody can make fucking two grand a month, bro. I'm gonna yeah. assume you were probably making four or five grand a month. Yeah, uh, it's more. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's just leave it at it was a lot of money. Yes. Well, I'm saying he was going to say that's why now I was interested because now I'm like, I'm wondering. That guy wants to know the exact number. No, because I, I bought a ring too, so I'm trying to see how much of a fucking asshole I am. Well, why don't you tell us how much your ring is and we'll let you know. I'm not going to put me on blast? Yeah. I'm, the one who, I'm the one who's fucking... <laughs> You're the one who wants to know, so let's hear it. No, because no, every girl's I, like... Okay, wait. I'll just say this. I probably spent the least. How no. much did you spend? Not a lot at all, but it's I wasn't making a lot of money at the time. Less than five grand? Yes. Yeah. My wife will get another ring at some point, but I was not making a lot of money at the time and I wanted to marry her. So that's what happened. I mean, this is, uh, I can't see it. I see a big white screen. No, it's like too, it's glowing too much. The diamond's so bright, it's fucking up the goddamn screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my one of my goals is always to buy my wife uh, the ring she wants. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's Was like that two carrots. That looks like 20. Yeah, it's two point two point one, two point two. What is it, babe? Okay, so guy, where what where are you at? Under or over five? Oh, I'm well over five. Okay, then you're fine. <laughs> then you're fine. I think I'm over I'm over five by five times. Okay, okay. Well, you're oh. way over what you need to be. I think most guys, and I don't know for sure, but most guys I know. Ten is are, like the normal, I think. Yeah, it's like between five I'm and well ten. Above between 10. Five and ten. Yeah, eight, eight and eleven is like kind of the the range most guys spend. Okay, I thought so. I, I thought you were gonna go in like way above me. Does anybody? Well, else... I, tell, I didn't tell you how much I spent on that. Okay, just one second. Does anybody else think it's fucking crazy? It's insane. Yeah. Okay, because I'm just am I the only one who thinks it's fucking retarded? Like I would rather I just, listen. If I'm gonna give you a fucking like X amount dollar ring, then like, can you at least put like a. A Rolex on my wrist or something? No, but I'm just saying, like, if instead of giving, hey, like, where's my Rolex? Like, what I'm thinking is, like, instead of giving a my like my girl a twenty thousand dollar ring, I'd take her to Fiji instead and spend a week in Fiji for fucking or fucking put a goddamn fucking yeah, but hey, you had the ring is forever. Like, you she has that ring for the rest of her life now. Fiji no, no, you are forever. Not who cares about the ring? You are forever. <laughs> But the ring, the ring is there forever as well. To like, well, something. can you guys take your fucking antiestrogens because you're getting all soft on this? <laughs> like, if I can overnight you some Arimidex. Like, fucking, you can tell. I'm like, not. We're having like, a like, Nick, Nick's like, what is happening? He hasn't said a word. Nick, you said guys are want... talking about falling in love and rings. Nick said he wanted to talk about relationships. It's not my fault. Nick, ask your question because I, I'm, I'm starting to grow a vagina over here. <laughs> okay, I have, a, I have a, a better question for the single guys. Okay. Uh, how to get in a relationship with a girl who replies almost a day later to text messages? I Nick, would say, Nick, Nick, wait, Nick, how do you feel about that? Dating. So let's say, let's say you meet a girl and you guys kind of hit it off. You have a date. Then from then on, you start texting her. But every time you text her, she doesn't respond till the next day. I feel like she's fucking somebody else. <laughs> I love there's it. no middle ground with you huh it's either it's either she's in the library studying or she's a complete fucking whore yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you don't no, text, like holy stuff no, she could just be a bad texter all right what do you think you guy? So? me yeah i have no place to throw stones because currently i have 65 unread text messages from today so if a girl, if you meet a girl and you guys, you think she likes you, you guys are talking, she doesn't respond to your text till the next day. You don't care. I don't respond to a lot of people till the next day. Just answer the question. You don't care. Um, I wouldn't care initially, but if we kept talking back and forth, I would probably make a comment like, hey, you're what? Let's say, let's say 30, you're 30 years old. Like everybody has their phone within like one foot of them at all times, unless they're like, a cop or like a nurse. So if you're not one of the two, can you at least be more attentive to your phone? Cause that's ridiculous. This is true. But what if she didn't pay attention to you? Like what if it's kept happening? How long would it be before you just stopped texting her? Uh, uh, I would give it probably about two weeks. And I'd be like, Oh, like if you want to keep my attention, you need to fucking respond. That's way more. That's way more patient than I would be. 
Well, dude, if I if I didn't know somebody and yeah. just met them and went on one date, like I don't, I don't, they don't have, they don't, they're not obligated to text me back right away. And if they're still responding to me, I'm like, okay, maybe they're just playing hard to get. Yeah, but if they did it every day, I would eventually be like, I wouldn't necessarily. Uh, that fucking look at that I would, guy. I wouldn't necessarily think they were cheating, like Nick, but I would be annoyed as fuck. Yeah. Look at that. We got it's two here. Yeah, it's a cute dog, man. Oh. Boy, that's what you would be. Fuck you. What you just said it's a cute dog. Yeah, but it's not not wow, not, Ian. He's about to say something negative about your dog. No, so that's not <laughs> shut the fuck up, guys. Stop See how quick to, I can do it. See that I'm trying to start trouble. <laughs> he look at pay, call me pay. Hey, we're hey. trying to have a we're trying to have a serious conversation here. About what? Well, we're trying to figure out how long how much patience this guy should have. In two weeks. You think two weeks. Nick, how long do you think? Five days, week max. Max, max. five days. It's like max. 24 hours. She don't answer. Ian, what do you think? Yeah, if it's a full day, like, oh I mean, my it depends. God, okay. it every depends. every time you text her, it's a full day before she responds. It depends because, okay, this is the thing. If a girl was doing that, I would just be like, she's not interested. I would stop texting her pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. you know? But then if you text the you back the next day, I would, I would be like, there's absolutely fucking no way she's interested in talking to me, you know? Yeah. No, no, hold on. But you're, okay, you're wrong. <laughs> she did respond but just a day later yeah, so, but, she's still, so but, the fact that she's waiting a day to respond and still thinking about you 24 hours later to respond to you in, in my head it's it's in my head oh. she's texting everybody else that matters to her right away and me she's like i'll reply to this guy later you know definitely yeah definitely guy you're way too patient man i'd be like fuck okay, you man here, it's, it was listen, different like, when I met you guys need to call listen you guys need to call your doctors when I met Melissa, like, <laughs> you're all you're sensitive. You're too sensitive. No, man. If, if he's right, if a girl's obviously not that interested, if she doesn't need to yeah. get back to you. I mean, look, it's not. It's not. I wouldn't be upset about. it. It's just like, all right. Whatever. Maybe the bitch ain't that thirsty, and she's got to text you back right away. Yeah, hey, but wait, that, let me let me finish. And I mean, bitch, ladies and gentlemen, as the most fucking adoring. Term what, Ian, ever. what Ian's saying is, I, you would move on instead of yeah. waiting. Okay, like, hey, when I met Melissa, like she was like that. She would never respond, but. She's also still like that. Like she'll like leave the house for six hours. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what proves my point. Maybe the girl is just bad at fucking that. But but I already knew Melissa when I met her. I knew she was like that with her phone right off the bat. And like, okay, but my I point know, is that there are people under her for it and shit. You know. So yeah, but I'm saying everybody busts my balls. What I'm saying is, so you're admitting there are girls that are like that. There are people that are just bad. I'm one of them. I'm horrible at texting back. Yeah, but clearly this guy doesn't know that about that girl, so he's questioning it. You know, Ian was Ian, Ian was friends with Melissa before they got together, so he. I would more. say I would say two weeks is like enough time if you just met somebody, and if they're at that point, I would be like, all right, you gotta like, it's been two weeks. I've been trying to talk to you. If, like, are you interested or not? Because if you're not, like, then stop fucking waiting twenty four hours to text me. And just don't text me at all. The easy answer to this is just. When you ask them to hang out, do they want to hang out? Like, are they fucking yeah. giving you the runaround? Because, I mean, if you're like, hey, you want to hang out on Friday, and you ask them on Monday, and then Tuesday they respond and say, yeah, I'd love to hang out Friday. Okay, maybe they are interested, and they're just yeah. slow as shit. But if they're like, uh, sorry, blah, 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 maybe next week, okay, then they're giving you the runaround. Yeah, but how, how annoying is it if you text her Friday morning and go, hey, you want to do something tonight, and she doesn't text you back till the next day? Okay, so if, I, if, if you're trying to make plans and she doesn't text back for a full day, I'm coming at you with the fucking full force. Yeah. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming at you hard. No, I'd, I'd agree on that. Fuck that. Yeah. All right. We'll do I'd one like, there's no way you didn't see my taxes for 24 hours, you <laughs> dumb broad. Would you rather let your spouse have a hall pass or find out that your spouse has been speaking to other people on social media behind your back? Wait, but wait. It, I don't know if it's a, it has such a broad fucking question. I know it's not specific enough. You'd rather your spouse get a hall pass. What yeah. do I get? Yeah. One second, just okay, guys. There's people listening on audio, so if you're all talking over each other, <laughs> it doesn't sounds like shit. So Ian, finish what you're saying, and then guys, tell me what you're saying. Huh? I'm, just, I'm just clarifying. <laughs> so it's your white, your girlfriend gets a hall pass, or she's talking shit about you to other people. I guess that's what he means. He says, or find out that your spouse has been speaking to other people on social media. So I'm we'll assuming, I'm assuming exactly. the girl is like talking to other guys on social media, but maybe not so banging. Either way, she's cheating. I mean, I would rather than talking to other people, but I mean, it's no, nah, you can't. That's to me, like, if, if she's talking dirty or sexual to other people, yeah, it's the same she, thing. Yeah, she might as well be getting a fucking dick in her. I agree. Yeah. Cause she, either way, she's an unloyal girl. I don't agree. 
Wait, but so either way, she's unloyal. Wait, 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 guys, just wait. So if you found your wife having conversations saying like she wants this guy's fucking dick so bad, and like I, you know, and she's saying dick pics to getting dick pics from him, whatever, you you would you don't think that's as bad as her actually just fucking a guy? Okay, all I'm saying is this. It, it's, not, it's not a what he a, starts going like this it's not a yes or no it's not a this yes is or no. anxiety yes talk right now when he does it it's not a yes or no this is why it may have married for 14 years if i found out she was talking to a guy only talking online we could probably work it out but if i if i found out she was banging a guy for like a couple weeks define, I'd be like, talk, define talking yeah but if, you bro, even, hall pass. even if no no, no I'm excluding the hall pass even oh. if it was sexual talk, I would probably still try and work it out with my wife. But if she had been having an affair, I'd be like, I can't do it. Okay, wait. Now, let, me, wait let me ask this question. Okay, now, what if it was your wife just went out with some girlfriends, got drunk, fucked a guy, or she was not having sexual, co- but having a serious emotional conversation relationship with someone online? I think the physical part just, it, it, it cancels it out for me. Really? See, I would, I'd, I'd rather than get drunk and fuck someone than it be like I'm having a significant, like emotional relationship. I don't think I'm back from. I don't think I could get it out of my head. If I mean, if I could get either of them out of my head, but I'm saying that would be worse to me. Yeah, but I feel like when you fuck, you seal the deal. I don't know. I think fucking in a lot of cases it, it can be very unemotional. I'm pulling think, a Nick right now. I ain't saying shit. I think, I think <laughs> having an emotional, an emotional connection on like conversation, it can be worse. I agree. It can be, but I, like I said, I think you couldn't come back from that mentally. Yeah. Personally, myself only. Yeah. If there's nothing physical involved, I can probably get through it with therapy or whatever. Uh, like, sure. I think I could work through it. I think once there's the physical line has been passed or broken, I'm like, mm, that's fucked up. I don't know if I can. I understand. Yeah. I get yeah. It. I mean, both are fucked. I mean, both would, yeah. both would, both. No, would... It's, make, it's making me think because oh. I'm like, maybe yeah. I agree with you. I can't quite tell. Both would make me want to leave, but you know, after you're with somebody for 14 years, it's hard to just fucking walk out the door, right? Oh, yeah. So it's like, imagine, and I don't know if you want to imagine this, but imagine like Melissa was talking to some guy. I don't think you could easily just be like, get out. No, of right? course not. You'd no. probably be like, hey, man, we need to talk about this shit. And then, yeah. you, right? But for I mean, me- You stay at a hotel for a week, so I don't fucking commit. No, because this is this is why I'm, I'm <laughs> questioning it now. Because when you say it like that, if she was oh, talking about that, would be like, okay, we can work through this. But if I found out she fucked the guy, that would be a lot harder, you're right. Yeah, you'd be like, you kind of broke that fucking boundary like it's fucked you're like your dirty ass is sleeping on the couch she ain't coming to bed with me yeah. <laughs> that snail not, anyway. uh, on the couch. um if she doesn't care about the gym or anything related is she the one no she doesn't meaning I, what? Knew, I knew nick was gonna say that <laughs> what do you mean if she doesn't like if she doesn't go to the gym or she just it's not yeah, a if, if she doesn't if you meet a girl and you think she's awesome but she don't fucking care about the gym can she still be the one absolutely yeah. as long as she doesn't look like a fucking soggy stuffed animal she's good as, as long as she doesn't giving you the fucking judgment bullshit about like you're gone too long why do you have to go to the gym i had a girl like that back that in always college. happens man yeah okay so i agree with i agree with guy and, and ian i don't think I think Nick, you're too stringent. You know, Nick, sometimes a girl not being in the gym is actually cool. Best thing for you. Because you get your own time to go do whatever the fuck you want with your friends and kind of release from being with that girl all the time, right? You probably don't care right now because you're just dating. But once you're living with somebody or you're married, you're like sometimes going to the gym for a couple hours is like your time yeah. away. I had a girl yeah. tell me when uh, I was it was I think it was right out of college we were dating. And she's like, you go to the gym every day. She's like, it's like you have fucking two jobs. Look at me now, bitch. <laughs> now it is your fucking job. Yeah, I hope you're watching the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Should we answer some bodybuilding questions? Sure. Uh, sure. What's your that's, that's enough relationship questions. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we're at, we mean, everybody's in trouble for enough for one day. <laughs> Apparently, guy <laughs> thinks we need fucking some estrogen blockers, so. Yeah, you. But I didn't. Say we say the word. We said the word love. Nick, once. Nick, Nick, we said the word fuck. love. We said the word love once, and you got uncomfortable. First of all, I have a question, and I want to know why Nick was the one that wanted to bring up this relationship bullshit, and that motherfucker sat in the corner and didn't say a goddamn word the entire <laughs> fucking time. Right? Don't be coming bringing your fucking your your sand to this beach, pal. Okay? All right. I don't need sand over here in my house. Keep your sand <laughs> over in Florida. But, <laughs> All right, let's do, some body, do, do a couple of bodybuilding questions. We've got a little bit of time. 
Uh, what is the most overrated workout for your chest and same for legs? I'm assuming he means exercise. So what is bench. the most overrated exercise for your chest and legs? Bench press. Flat bench press. I agree with that. And squats. Guy, guy you got one or you agree? Mm, overrated. Like, I don't think you have to flat bench to have a big chest. No, you don't. But everybody I, always I, says, how much do you bench? All the guys with the best chest don't flat bench press. All well, the guys, I, I think all the guys, wait, hold on, hold on. all the guys with a good ch chest might not flat bench now. Yeah, I was just gonna say because I started. Because it's with a hard lot of for me bench. to say that it's overrated because it was a staple for a very long time in my bodybuilding career. But and I still but flat bench now. But that's not the question, though. The question is, can you do without it? Be, everybody always says, "Oh, how much you bench? Like it's the most important movement." But you can actually get a massive chest without doing it. Yeah. So, that would, so that would make it overrated. I would say overrated where you can do other exercises that are more beneficial and hit the chest the same way. That's the, that's the answer. So what I about, say, what, I what, about say what about legs, guy? Squats. I think I'll agree with Nick, and I think squats are the amazing exercise, but I think they are overrated because I can't think of anything else that would be more overrated than them. I think leg extensions are overrated. You guys think squats are overrated? I don't. Have you yeah. ever seen? Have you ever seen somebody I, squat? That, I a form of squat every workout, but like it's. That's exactly my point. I want have you ever? Years. Wait a minute. My legs what? got big. Wait a minute. Have you ever seen somebody that has big legs that didn't squat at all? No. Me either. Nick, even you said you squat. But I didn't for a couple of years, and but I you did. But you did before that. The reason I think I agree with Nick on this is because uh, it's like it's so looked at as like something that's a hundred percent necessity and like the King, but I think it's the same thing that you can build really good legs without. Yeah. But, but that's I guess a, that kind of extends to every exercise. I don't know. But wait a minute. Yeah. That's a different question. There's, you can grow any muscle by excluding certain exercises, 100%. but that's, that's not the, what, that's not really the question. The question is what exercise is overrated squats aren't overrated, man. They're like, they do what they say they're supposed to do. Like he could say quad extensions, but quad extensions aren't highly rated to begin with. So it's like yeah. everybody does them though. That's exactly my point. Everybody, everybody does ninety percent, ninety five percent of people start their leg day with leg extensions. You know what's funny? I haven't done leg extensions for eight weeks, and my legs look their best. I haven't. I haven't done leg extensions for eight exactly eight weeks, which is why I'm saying it. There's a long period. Of, I've, I go long periods of time without doing them, also. And usually, my most people start their leg day with extensions. Yep. And I don't think you have to, which is why I'm saying that's overrated. I agree. Yeah. Could well, be. What? Nick, did I just flip you? No, I'm, I'm just agreeing with you. But he still thinks squats are overrated. Still think squats, but I do agree with that. Well, which you one do you think? You can't agree with both. You have to have a. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pick one exercise, you fucking. I pick squats. I'm just, you're also not wrong. I can't decide on this. I can't think of what is highly rated enough that it's like, you know. Guy, do you think Nick should grow his beard out? He shaved oh. it again. He shaved it again. Yeah, you're such a fucking loser. <laughs> you don't have to be that angry. Fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you just grow a little fucking face dirt? I told him. I said, it's only seven weeks, man. Just a playoff beard. Yeah, what is it? I don't like it. Do? I don't like what it. are you trying to impress? I, are, you, are you with? Are you have a girlfriend? No. So who are you trying to impress? Wait, you don't no have one, man. No, no, don't even, Everybody don't would have beards on here. <laughs> no, I, well, I was here. Did, did I miss a text message, guys? Did I, I miss a text? Did. I think you did, yeah. I didn't say uh, did I really? I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I put it in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking here, fucking guy. It, it's it's uh, it's up there, but we had a lot of conversations recently. No, I don't. I don't think you said put it in the group chat. I thought I did. No, I think it was directed to me. Oh, yeah. So apologize. Fuck off. <laughs> apologize. <laughs> Fuck off. He already said you're his favorite. He doesn't have to apologize. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, apart from the obvious of drink more, how do you drink more water each day? What are some things? You, what are some things you can do to drink? What's that? If you always have a water bottle with you. You always drink water. Always. <laughs> I think you should use some meal. Sure. Or that. Ah, sugar-free sugar Kool-Aid. 
If you don't ever water. have water, a bottle with you, you will not usually drink water. Just keep a bottle with you. Why did Just you say, why did you say, uh, guy? Oh, junk. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you such a pussy? <laughs> it's it's a little bit of sugar free Kool Aid. Yeah, but there's there's, better, there's stuff that's better for you that you can use. Like he's what? Got fucking dips in and then won't drink Mio. You know? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like he's a- fucking <laughs> in. All right, just because you're the best looking one on the podcast, don't start your shit. <laughs> Hold on. Nick, Wait a Nick, minute. I think Nick. I think Nick has something to say about that. One. <laughs> I, th- I think huh? Nick. Nick has some- podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Nick's huh? pretty. Nick's pretty cute. Yeah, Nick's, give, yeah. Yeah. Nick's a handsome fella. All right, this podcast is de- you guys definitely need dressers and blockers because look, how, look how uncomfortable you are. Jesus, what's wrong with you? You're the one looking at trannies. What you relax? <laughs> oh, dude, you mess- oh, here we go. <laughs> Guy fucking has one honest conversation. Now he likes fucking chick dicks. Oh man, I imagine the memes that are gonna come. I can't out. wait. <laughs> fucking hot dogs coming in my face and everything. Oh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Oh fuck! You just, you just made the meme for yourself, right there. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> At this point, in twenty twenty one, I'll probably I'll probably get more fans because of that. Okay, I got an easy you know one for you. Bodybuilding Bullocks guy is gonna make a video about this part. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Why who? The that, Bodybuilding uh, Bollocks channel. Yeah. I told that guy he needs to fucking rap us a theme song. Yeah. Who, that's is, not about who it. is that guy? Where did you find that guy? He's amazing. I think Dude. he just started a fucking Instagram just to fucking talk about us. He's got he had a, like two videos. No, no, he's got a YouTube page too. Really? Yeah. I got, give me one second. See if I can find What's it. his name? He better thank me because I'm the one who brought his name up. I want to hire this guy to do fucking content for me. He's great. Who? The, the palm tree, whatever his name is? The bodybuilding and bollocks. Oh, no, oh the well, the, bomb, the bodybuilding bollocks guy works for uh, Hostile now. Yeah. Who is this guy? He's a oh, he's guy. great. I can't. I, I can't. I, I, thought, I, I thought we all knew that guy was awesome. He makes the best shit. I can't reveal. I can't. This guy's incredible. That I can't. I can't reveal his. Uh, name identity of why course. because he doesn't he's want it son of a bitch that's he why no because he doesn't want it revealed what's he looks like <laughs> then how do we hire him <laughs> you don't see you see how he fucking like? selfish he is he's, <laughs> he's such a fool what are you before. talking he doesn't what? want it's a dude he doesn't want people to know who he is okay. what's he look like yeah he's white and he's got black hair really i was thinking eight <laughs> so was i that's why i asked that all right, I, I thought you guys were talking about this guy. No, not that guy. That's what I was talking about. Who's yes. this? Ian, you never seen this guy he yet? He did that song about us. He's he, the one did, one did, he did a song about us, man. I've never seen this in my life. Are you serious? No. Dude, it's, it's great. We here. all reposted it. Yeah. Here, here listen. Yo. Back again. What is what are we watching? The attitude is fucking incredible. What is this guy? Who is this? <laughs> what is this guy? <laughs> his, name, right? his, his name's Palm Tree Thomas. Is he is be Palm he, Tree Patty just sounds better? I think he's I think he's I think he's being serious. I don't think he's spoofing us. I think he's seriously like a rapper. No, he actually said thanks for fucking reposting it. Yeah, yeah it's like digital high five, bro. Did he give us his SoundCloud or what? <laughs> no, no, he didn't. <laughs> but he literally has three posts. Yeah, and they're all rapping about the podcast. Yeah, I think he just like fucking. I I think we brought out his passion. Well, that's uh, great. Fuck. Yeah, we just got, give us our residual, bro. We got super fans. All right, uh, we'll do a couple more. Uh, has being so open on the podcast caused arguments at home, social media, other than Ian's obvious controversial comments? Check, check, um, check. So next question. Yeah, but those didn't cause me any problems at home. Those just caused me problems everywhere else. <laughs> um, 
I have had no problems at home because of the podcast. Me neither. <clears throat> well, thanks, everybody. Can we just skip this question? Really, Nick? No. Ian, does it cause you any problems? At home? Yeah. No. Has it caused you any problems anywhere? No. Well, I mean, what's problems? Like, I mean... Well, anything. I, that, not I mean, I know, I know. People repost your stuff that you say, but I know also know it doesn't really bother you. So, no, I mean, like obviously the two, the thing I got the absolute most flack for was the Kevin thing. But other than that, me and that, no, I haven't. Yeah. Guy. <laughs> Tomorrow is not today. What the fuck does that mean? That means tomorrow's Wednesday. Next topic. Okay. <laughs> How about the Yankees? Uh, would you rather eat, would you rather be able to eat fish in a rice cake or a rice and a fish cake? What? Sorry, just ignore I'm me. But a dumb and a dumber question. Yeah, just ignore me. Um, the whole bodybuilding and bollocks crew is trapped on a deserted island, and you just ran out of food. Who do you eat first? Uh, wait. Well, who's the bot? Who's everybody? Well, all of us. Is this bad? Is this bad? Yeah, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Oh, I, I'd eat Nick first because Nick probably eats the most and needs the most food. So you got to get rid of him first. So there's more food going around. You know, Nick would feed Nick would feed the majority of us for a long time. Exactly. Nick is Nick is like the biggest, and Nick is also eats the most. So by getting rid of him, there's more food for us, and he's also the biggest food source. See how fucking smart Ian is? I didn't even think of that aspect. I just thought Nick is the biggest. He'll provide the most meat. No, but Nick but, also oh, Nick needs the most nutrients to survive. So we got to get yeah, rid of him. That's yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's neat. Oh, go fuck yourself. Yeah, we're gonna eat you first, Nick. So me and Paul are like last to go. So if like if it's just gonna, if it's down to me and Paul, I'm gonna fucking Paul's a dead man because I'm so last. So it's gotta be like Nick and then James. Yeah, and then Ian and then you and then Ian. I don't even eat. I eat like three times a day. I can say I'll be the last one. You guys know I, my appetite sucks. So I, you I, you guys want me to, like last man standing? I eat less than guys, so I'll kill you guys. Cool. I can honestly say that I probably eat the most, but I think James is the heaviest. So it's like. I, you're the you're the you you and you're the worst. You you want every meal fresh. You're gonna be cutting me up every fucking had thirty fucking minutes to start a meal. I'm gonna be over there over the campfire every two hours cooking it. Fresh. Yeah, I'm gonna be the guy that's still alive and you're cutting my leg off every two hours to make a fucking steak. No. Yeah, no, I'm good. You can fucking go first too, right after Nick. Mm. James already looks like he's fucking on a deserted island. He hasn't shaved yeah, in. He does. Is there yeah. a way to make? Is there a way to minimize the gap in my pecs? Oh, he's probably talking about, he's talking about the guys. Like some people yeah, have that yeah. sternum that's like really indented. I know. I, I have it. Like my pecs don't meet all the way. There's like a gap right here. That's yeah. called genetics, pal. It's where they insert and they attach. Yeah, yeah, I know. And he's asking if there's any way have... to get rid of that. No. Really? No. I think if you get your pecs big enough, though, you can kind of hide it. Yeah. I mean, like Josh Lenardowitz's pecs are like that, aren't they? Yeah. 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 I don't think it's anything anybody gets marked down for. You can still develop a massive. You know, he's chest. got pegs like that, and he's got monster chest. Uh, uh, Jeremy Potvin. Yeah. The physique guy. Yeah. 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 Can about. that guy? Can that guy's waist get any fucking smaller? Dude, his I, chest gets peeled. I know, but have peeled. you ever have you ever seen anybody with a smaller waist than that? No, he's got a waist of a chick. It's fucking crazy, man. It's I just like, want to grab him and shake him. You want to, you want to grab him, eh? Hey, like the tranny. Hey, it's starting to fucking worry me, man. This guy, like, shut the fuck up! Or I smack this shit out of you. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? Huh? How are you gonna do are that? Going to flex this event? Nope. Wait a second. I would just like to take a moment. Here with we zero go. Interruptions. I don't want to hear you breathe. Here we go. No, I don't want to hear you breathe. You know what I'm gonna say? You know what I'm gonna say? Yes. All right. I want your mic on fucking mute. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear you breathe. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to mute my mic. Nick and Fu Fuad both fucking were talking about burying me at this fucking Flex's event. Now, miraculously... Not true. Should we go back to the podcast? You said, you said you were going to bury us. You, you oh, yes. are the... You guys said, we'll see at Flex's event because we're all going to be there. All yeah, but you instigated the whole thing. Yes, and I'm still going. Yeah, but what's your point? Where are you you're, at? you're the one with something to prove. You're the one who's like, I'm going to bury everybody. I have nothing to prove. I just want to like to be an asshole. Yeah, but so now you guys need the one you were going. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is dependable over here. 
Well, I, I'm sorry, can we, man. Hey, can, we, can we talk about something? And that, this is this is not like a, this is a kind of a sad topic. Yeah. So my birthday was on the 21st of March, right? So I'm out to eat with a bunch of buddies on the 20th, and I get a fucking somebody text me that Andy Hammond fucking had a heart attack at 55. Yeah. I have there's I have plaques in my room from Muscle Mag back in 2011. There's a video of me squatting 600 on YouTube and it was for Muscle Mag and Andy Hammond was the guy in the video. So I was like fucking blown away. Yeah. Yeah, like, man. It was like face 50, like did any 54 years old. Like what what did any results why? I don't know anything about it. That's why I don't want to talk about it. But I, I, no, no, I'm not, I, I'm not, I but he was a, like, he was no, no, no. a good dude, man. Let he me, let me, let dude. me rephrase it. Let me rephrase. It's not that I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to, I don't want to speculate. I don't know what happened. So no, I, neither I, do I, I have no clue. He just yeah. said, it, you know, I didn't even know it was a heart attack. Oh, I, I don't even, I don't know. I don't oh, know okay. what it was. Does anybody know what it was? No. Huh? But I was shocked. I was like, whole, like I have literally, there, he's on my wall in my house. Is it something where we know it happened, but nobody looks into it because we don't want to? No, I was actually trying to find out what, what happened, and I couldn't find anything. Because he was like an all-American wrestler, like very healthy, like didn't, like bodybuilded early on, stopped bodybuilding for fucking like 15 years, came back, turned pro as a master's. Like, I don't know. Is it, is it scary to anybody that that happened? Nick, you don't feel anything, do you? No. Not that, not that you don't feel anything for him, but like you don't. Doesn't worry, as, doesn't worry um, you. Yeah, yeah. Ian? I mean, the older you get, the more you, it's got to cross your mind. If it well, doesn't... The more, the more, like, like concept of mortality I have. Yeah. And, it, you know, obviously when these things happen, I'm like, fuck, you know, it does, it like, if I it get more impacted by it, but I'm not, like, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's like, I'm not... I don't feel like I'm doing anything so reckless that I need to like go change my ways because this guy died, you know? My my worry is that like all these people that have passed, I don't know if they all were f like not- Like taking, reckless? Like, I don't know if they were all reckless or if it's just like, look, this is what happens when you do X, Y, Z. Because I'm worried like, you know, I'm 42 years old, man. That's like, the guy's only fucking 12, 13 years Weird old. Weird shit, just like, I got to get surgery on April 9th on my neck. <laughs> <clears throat> well sorry for the Heyman family yeah it's crazy uh, he was like a really upbeat person I remember him always smiling I remember man. him guest, po guest posing at a couple shows and he always had like a million yeah. things on stage and shit and like costumes yeah. Yeah. he was in a he was in a couple movies yeah it's sad it's sad it's 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 hard to fucking uh ignore says, anywhere online it says that his uh Cause of I know death. his son put something out that he passed away, but that was it, right? Oh, wait. I think my wife told me something like he was having a routine surgery, and it happened during surgery. Get the fuck out of here. I think that's what she said, but I like nobody quote me, but that's what I was told. She oh. said she she said she read somewhere that he was so it was a freak fucking thing. You know, two hours ago, it was Andy Heyman, cause of death revealed to be a pulmonary embolism. Oh, my God. But was, it, but was it during a surgery? Does it, does it say? So we had a blood clot. Days after, yeah. Uh, Andy lost his life of a pulmonary embolism. This occurred three days after an elbow surgery, leading to the oh, yeah. so we had a surgery. Yeah. And he got he got a blood clot. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. So you know what? I wonder. And people are going to be like, "Don't say it." I wonder if he had fucking he got COVID because that's what happens. Yeah. That's crazy. That's fucking. Ugh. Okay, let's move on from it. Um, Our condolences to the you yes, know, yes. Hammond family. Yeah. Um, Tom Picaro says, pick one. Always have to wear three sizes to big sweats when cutting. Hey, click the, click this guy. I think this is the guy that puked. What? I think this is the guy no. that drinks me. No. Uh, you know what? Let's just skip that one. I'm having trouble getting past the topic now. Yeah. Um, Okay. If you competed in different eras, would you have to still would you have still looked the way you look now and potentially had been the pioneer of your look back then or trained for the looks they had then? No, you wouldn't have looked the same. None of us would have. I don't think anybody trains for a certain like to match a certain look. 
No, I don't think so. I think so. No, I think everybody trains just to be their biggest. And like, I try to be the biggest I can and the most ripped I can when I die down. And that's my shape. That's my shape. No, so. that's, that's not true at all. I think, I mean, for you, for you, it's true. I don't, but I don't think that's like when Ronnie was winning, everybody was chasing Ronnie. That's why everybody got massive. That's why Jay got way bigger than he needed to be because he was chasing Ronnie. And I think that's the same thing that happened in the 90s. We were chasing Dorian. Nobody just says, well, fuck it. This is the way I look. Too bad. I'm going to stay this way. Or else I would have still stayed it. Oh, I mean, I... I, If if that was the rule, if that was the way it worked, I would have stayed at 240. Because that's when I thought I looked looked the best. I mean, I try... I mean, for me, I try to chase fucking... Try to get as big as I can. Well, I'm just saying, like, everybody's... Like, Cedric, I know for sure, is like, I like the way I look. I want to look this way. I don't want to be a giant mass monster. So he likes to stay the way he is. But most of the guys are chasing whoever the fuck is winning. Because they want, yeah. yeah. Right? Like, oh, so that back guy's... In the, back in the 90s, too, you could say, like, those... And I'm not knocking these guys, but, like, leg conditioning and glute conditioning wasn't a huge factor back then either. Like, a lot of those guys back then, their legs didn't look the same as the guys now. I think it did. I think it just depends on the show. Those guys compete. No, no, not, not the 90s. I'm talking about 70s and 80s. My apologies. 70s, yeah. But in my 90s, apologies. My well, apologies. The thing about the 90s that people forget is, like well, 50. they competed like seven, eight times a year. Yeah. So, like, I think they were all at their best at the Olympia, but then there was a bunch of shows in between where they wouldn't be necessarily. Yeah, they had, like, the European Grand Tour back then, too, after that, yeah. which was, like, five shows. Like, Kevin told me he did seven shows a year. I was like, are you fucking serious? I've done this that a lot. Who's done seven shows a year here? Anybody? Done... I do five almost every year. I think I've done six before. Yeah, and you know. did three last year. Yeah, but the year before that, I did five. The year before that, I did six or five. I mean, I've really four, five, six almost every single year. Yeah. Holy fuck. The most I did one year was three. 2018, I did Indy, Vancouver, Spain. No, I did something after there. Uh, Olympia, yeah, I did four, I did five that year. And then 2019, I did uh, Toronto, I gotta Vancouver, see what Portugal, Tampa. Uh, and and that was it. So four that year, yeah. Four that year. Nick, do you think you can compete seven times a year? I don't think so. No, right? What do you think? I like two, three, five, five or less. Yeah. Uh, three. What did you say, Ian? I can do five or less. Yeah, five's still a lot, man. I felt fine doing five because I did up my shows. Thing. You know, in 20, 2015, I did those. I did the three shows, and I took you know I won two, and I took second at the third, and I was supposed to do the Olympia, and I was just fucking tired. I'm like, I'm fucking burnt out. Yeah. I was fucking burnt out because I didn't look as good at the third show. I'm like, well, if I don't look good at the third show. Yeah, I'm... I always get, I get better the more shows I do every single time. I've never been worse doing more shows ever. Really? I mean, look at this year, Tampa, then uh, New York, then Olympia, yeah. way better. Yeah. Yeah. 2019, my best showing was Tampa at the end of the year. Go to 2020, my best show, you know, go to 2018, Olympia, best showing of the year. Five shows in. It's always my best is my last. Yeah, that's weird. It's not for me. Yeah. I think that happened. That happened for me once. I think the better I get. Yeah, that happened for me once. I think, but I think most of the time, my first show is my best showing. No, my my first showing, like I mean, look at this. Twenty nineteen, yeah. uh, Toronto Pro, where I lost to John, I was terrible. Yeah. Twenty twenty was uh, Tampa, where I lost to Hunter, I was terrible. I yeah. mean, like every year. Our twenty eighteen was Indy Pro, where I was fourth. I was so- that was the softest I'd been. I looked good, but it was softer, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I got better every show. Like, I've always been the worst my first show. Once I get in shape once, and then, like, I can, you know, I'm not, like, pushing the food down, can reduce the cardio and stuff. I always just get better and better and better. Yeah. Nick, what, Nick, what about you? You, like, do you look best at your first shows or your last shows? Or how does it work for you? I usually get better. Like, you better as you go. The Chicago it was way different. It was way yeah. better. Yeah. yeah, like, here when I did six shows in a row. I'm looking at it. You did six shows in a row? I did. You got uh, the... Europa Super Show, I took first. New York Pro, I took second because Aaron Clark won. But is went- it is it easier because you're smaller? I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, just I'm just joking. Guy, I'm fucking around. I love you, man. I'm just fucking around. <laughs> so listen, I got first. No, now I'm going to brag. You can fucking suck a dick. I got first, then second. And in Toronto, I got first. Oh, that was a guest posing they put in there. The you, got first, you got first at a guest posing? No, I don't know why it's there. I counted it. It's it, it, what it said. No. Fine. Ian, what are you eating? Steak and rice. Yeah. Well, yeah. Who cooked it, Mister Fucking Fresh and Fresh? Yeah. And 
Yeah, Mister, I cook everything fresh. Well, wait, did you not notice me at the counter there? You were cooking. Well, I'm, the rice had been put on, and then I just cooked the steak in that time. Look yeah. at this fucking guy, eh? He fucking cook bougie fuck. He can cook while he's doing a podcast. Doesn't fucking. Yeah, who affect do you think him you on. are? The fact that you can just jump on this podcast late whenever you want in your car and just act <laughs> fucking do what you want. <laughs> Uh, okay, last one. Make it good. Last one. Make it good. I know. How the fuck? That means we're gonna, that means we're gonna have at least two more after this fucking last one. Where would Seth be placing if he's still competing in the two twelve? Oh, Seth had a crazy physique. I love Seth's physique. I'd say he could win. He'd be in the mix. Could Seth beat Sean Clarita? I think Seth could beat Derek Lunsford. Could Seth beat Sean Clarita? So pull up, like, let's pull up. Sean, pull Clarita, up. Sean Clarita, even though he's smaller, he's just so wacky looking, man. Like, he looked nutty, man. And I'm not, hey, wait a minute. Before anybody says anything, I'm not picking on Sean. I think Sean's got an amazing physique. I'm only picking Sean because he's fucking Mr. Olympia. Sure, and, I, and I'm not picking on Derek when I picked Derek. I was just picking like the biggest white guy in the 212, you know? That's yeah. why he has a comparable. Why does it have to be white? Because that's what. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it was the next, the highest placing guy that has similar structure and physique to Seth. Okay, I got you. Eric, and I think yeah. Look at these fucking legs, man. He's, he's like, and that's now. And he's only on like yeah. I talked. I saw. I talked to him. He's like, I'm only on some tests and some GH right now. Yeah. Just Google Google a contest photo. Just Google a contest photo. One second, man. No, these are way better than his old contest yeah, look photos. At that. Look at that front double. Look at this fucking shot, man. Look at it's his legs, and his arms. He had tricep surgery. My arms don't look like that after my surgery. Fuck. You trying to go pussy? Next no, question. It's not because I trained. No, because he had a way better doctor than I did. Man, I, I'm sure he's discussed this a million times, but how does he have no inkling to compete? He's got. Uh, well, I don't want to speak for Seth. He's just he's got a family, and it's the most important thing to him right now. Yeah, I understand. He spends, that. spends a lot of time on like having a supplement company is fucking hard, man. Like it takes a lot of your time. Like he didn't have that forever, and like you know, he stopped competing quite a while ago. Yeah, but he had, but he had, he had health issues too. So he was oh. like, you know, he's got kids and he's got health issues, and he doesn't want to go to the extremes that he has to go to to get like this again. Yeah, he was fucking good, man. When he turned pro, that's not <laughs> one is <laughs> one is pro debut, too, right? It's Cedric's face. <laughs> he won his pro debut. Am I he correct? did. He did want his pro. He's pro debut. Yeah, he did. Um, I I don't know, man. Like. I honestly, I'm such a fan of Seth's physique. I think he would. I, I think he could beat Kamal. Yeah. I like agree. like when I look at this, I'm sorry, but I think he beats Kamal. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if he could get as peeled as Kamal gets, he would beat Kamal. Yeah. He could. He always got in shape. The only time he didn't get in shape was when he moved to open. I, I mean, have a hard time thinking that he could get down to 212 now, though. I mean, yeah, he can. This, 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 this picture right now. His pitcher is 215. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, shorter than I thought then. Yeah, he's like five, five six. six. Oh yeah, Seth is short, man. No, actually, I actually think he's five seven. I'm Maybe. five. Jack, yes. I don't think he's five okay. seven, but I, I honestly think if you know they say it's Ferosi shredded because he gets so shredded. So yeah. if he got shredded like that, I think he could. I think this physique could beat Sean. It would be tight, man. But yeah, I mean, there's the potential is certainly there to be a, the top guy. Yeah, I agree. Maybe he just likes knowing that. And that's enough for him. Yeah. You know, like maybe, maybe. Like you don't know it until you know it. But you, no, you're right. But maybe just sit people saying it is good enough for you. Yeah. You know, it's like some guys just like to know they can get a chick. They don't have to actually get her. Yeah. I get what you mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, maybe he's just like, you know what? If people yeah. think I'm great, then I don't got to go to all the fucking trouble of ruining my health to actually prove yeah. it. I, I've already proved how good I am. Yeah. How many pro shows did he do? I think he did three or four. I think he won the first two or maybe. And he then he, he won a 212. Then he did the Olympia. Then I think he moved to open. But I think his health changed after I, that. Yeah, I think he did. I think he did because he, he did Toronto the year that I did it in 212. He did open. And I think he did one more show after that. I think he did four shows. He couldn't get in the same shape after his health yeah. issues. So mm -hmm. he just, he kind of wrapped it up. And he, you know what? I don't blame him. He's got two kids to yeah. worry about. Three now three now yeah so yeah that's a good question it'd be it's it, you know i think that would be the comeback of the fucking century yeah or the decade i mean if if I seth hit, people would be i almost feel like people would be more excited for seth to come back than kai 
I agree. Yeah, I would. Okay, last one. <laughs> Who wins? Francis Benefato, 1990, or yeah, Chris funny. Bumstead, 2020? Chris Bumstead. Chris Bumstead, 2020. I don't know. I don't know. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, I know you're What do you think, guy? Uh, I like his physique. But if Otto's physique was crazy. Chris, okay. I'm pull him up. I think Chris might beat him, but we'll see. I'm looking at it right now. Chris would beat him. What do you think? That's a pretty physique, man. He's rounder than Chris. Yeah, but Chris is also like six inches taller and 60 pounds heavier. Listen, coach, don't get mad at me. <laughs> There's a little bit of bias here, Ian. Of course it is. Look at this. Look at that front double. Go to that front double. Is in the red Olympia, so. That's a crit dude. That's that's fucking nutty, dude. The height factor would make a difference because I feel like we're looking at like a Terrence Ruffin. Yeah. Right? Terrence, Terrence looks this good to me. Go up to that picture in the top left with his little mustache. Nope, down. But he's old there. Older. Yeah. Yeah, I think I there. I there, I would say Chris. I think I agree with with Ian. I mean, Chris is really impressive. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I mean that's tough to fucking beat, man. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Twenty seventeen as well. Chris. Yeah. It's it's weird. It's like as a bodybuilder, you can find things that aren't as good. Yeah. But it's the entire flow of the physique. Exactly. It's hard to fucking beat, man. Yeah. Does Chris know that, Ian? That he's that good? Ian. Well, what's the question? Does, Does Chris, Chris know? He's know? That good? Does Chris know like he's that good? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying because it's like he doesn't act like it. That's no, good. that's what a good champion does. He knows he can be better. Do you think he can be better? Oh yeah. I mean, be look at look at how much he changed from 2019 to 2020. I mean, he could still. Yeah. Be what, is that most, what is that most muscular? Where? Like, look Here? at his back in that picture there. How shitty that is. Like that one you just were looking at. Yeah, how I know. I don't know where. I think it, here. Well, this look is that. this isn't uh, shitty. And then look at the one below it. Look on the same panel there, below it. 2019 to 2020. No, no. Go back. Shit. You clicked the wrong one here. I clicked there. the wrong one. That's still now, not now, now, no, now, 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 no, now go down right there. So what are you saying? This improvement? That's, that's one year. Yeah, I know. Do you think he's going to make this kind of improvement again? No, but I think he will continue to improve. Yeah. How old is he? 25, six. That's fucking crazy. He just turned 26. Yeah, he's put together well, man. Yeah, this is, see, this is it. Guy right here. This is Francis Benefato right here. Yeah. Similar, similar shapes. Yeah, the height, the height makes a, a big, big fucking difference, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100%. Yeah, he's a freak. Yeah, look at that fucking insertion in his lats and like, good for him all right um okay boys cool is this a shit episode no i think you guys need to take some room decks for the next week okay why do you think this was a shit episode i don't know i think they're all he shit thinks every episode is a shit episode no this was a good one he does, good one. He does. okay well, i'll get some and i'll get some room decks and you stop looking at trainees how about that I hate your guts. <laughs> hey. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, my heart, I do actually. Remember me and me and Nick were fucking uh, busting your balls during your live. That was really fun. Yeah, you know what? Why did Why somebody, do you take like three minute rests between fucking? There was sets? a fucking chick that started doing hamstring curls right in front of me, and I couldn't fucking grab the weight, or I'm about to get kicked in the face. Do you believe him, Nick? And hold on, and on that, hold on, and on that exercise on that drop set. In the fucking thing, John says, do my right arm, wait three minutes, and then do my left arm because it's drop set. It says it right in there. Why were you doing like 40 reps per set? That was my that was my fourth 
set, which was my only drop set of the metal row. That's what it was a drop set. That's a lot of volume right there, boy. It's like cardio. You don't want none of this, bitch. <laughs> That's why you're small. What? That's why you're small. I'll see you at flexes. Oh, wait, you backed out. Yeah, well, I have a show. That's more important. Yeah, oh, and I, I'm from Canada. It's too hard. Yeah. Oh, my God. You know, excuses are like assholes. You know I that? have to fucking quarantine for like a month after I get back. You, you, know, still got a you don't leave your house. You've been to go to the gym and do podcasts. What do you do? Yeah, well, how am I going to fucking go to the gym if I have to quarantine? Who gives a fuck? Wear a mask. Yeah. All right. Anyways, this didn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> send guy, if any trainees are listening, send guy your photos. I hope everybody fucking floods you with fucking McDonald's, <laughs> fucking memes, and fucking tea. sushi. It's sushi now. With sushi, yeah. Because I don't, I don't eat shitty food anymore. You're a real health nut. I am. I had one cheat meal in the last three weeks. Oh, good. That's amazing for me. I've had a cheat meal every night. Yeah, show everybody your freezer. My cookies? Dude, you're such a pig. It's like all ice cream and cookies. You want to say it? How do I yeah. turn this around? Don't, don't worry about it. We'll do it next week. All right, guys. Yeah. Bye. Fuck yourselves. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.